Welcome everyone. My name is Amadou Masali and I am your, your moderator for this program. Basically, the reason why we are here um, is to discuss two documents that have been laid before Parliament this week with regard to our upcoming elections. And uh, we will get into the documents where Mr. Cherno Alpha M. Barr, the editor-in-chief for the African Express, will uh, deconstruct, for want of a better way to put it, the implications that both of these documents have with regard to uh, national interests. Now, I have been following the work of the African Express over the past two years. And uh, I have been impressed with the, uh, the, the information and the courage, especially, that this press insti institution have shown over the uh, past couple of years with what they put out there in the best interest of Sierra Leone. Some of them, you know, some of the of the that these types of conversations need to be have in a country. The, the, there are many parts to, to, to this, uh, where we are now. In other words, there have been other things happening before this that I've been following with regard to elections. For example, um, we looked at articles from the African Express that spoke to the National Electoral Commission or that calls itself Electoral Commission Sierra Leone today. Now, one of those articles spoke to the salary increases across the board from the commissioner of NEC, Mr. Kone, down to drivers and house, uh, house help. All of them received salary increases at NEC. Also, in another article by the African Express, we saw how um, there was some shifting of positions into what his or the article that stated were APC strong holes, for want of a better way to put it. Um, that also caught my attention when I read about, especially the fact that some of these people that were moved into these areas were cited as, you know, not so honest in terms of what they did in the elections of 2018. Beyond that, you look at um, statistics, Sierra Leone, for example, they just had a census, uh, a, a midterm census for the first time in, in our country's history. Um, also, a lot of things were revealed, especially when the African Express released some documentation that showed that you know, there were already boundary limitations marked out before the first count, before the president, who, who was the first person they counted, uh, was counted. So we look at these things, National Electoral Commission, you look at what Stats Sierra Leone has been doing over the past year, year and a half. And I must say, uh, we, with regard to Stats Sierra Leone, there were some um, you know, issues. It was National Election Watch that first started saying, this is not the right time, this doesn't make sense, and so on and so forth. Then came the EU press release that said, doing boundary limitation stuff, it's not necessarily healthy, going into an election year and then so, ultimately in the world bank can i intervene Go ahead. yes i just yes. want to make sure that i know we have other people who are not necessarily from Sierra Leone who are looking at this conversation so can we do the conversation in creole <laughs> <possible? laughs> it'll be easier for me we have yeah, creole, I know, because um, yes. i know some of the creole will be mixed with english but for the benefit of our people in Sierra Leone. Yeah, let's break Otherwise, it down in Creole. Why not? Creole is similar to English. So let me continue. Yeah, thank you. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I've been saying, the point why they try for me, I was saying not to this Tia Sunousa with this now gets this uh, serious implication for the elections last next year, June 24, 2023. We don't look at uh, what's going to happen at National Electoral Commission where they raise salary there for everybody. The, from, from the commission, I don't know, possibly they go cook in house, house help. 
the second thing I mean to talk about is Start Saloon. Me, myself, and me personally, I've only been in Start Saloon the SG for at least a year and a half. I call it the census, bogus midterm census, because there was really no need for it. But it had to be done, as you now go see during the you know, discussions, why it had to be done. The third thing now, now this um, National Civil, Civ Civic Registration Authority, NCRA, NACRA for short, they said about a couple of years or a year and a half ago or so, they may get a lot of issues with registering Sierra Leoneans. In fact, well, maybe I'm going to prove me wrong, but up to 30, 40%, uh, perhaps that's all they have in terms of who that is alone counts our country. Uh, in uh, or the only national identification number our country. So I uh, give you the background of that thing also because they all add up to us with this so now. Some of them thing also will not for be know what them. Will not for be know if not get person where they watch them judiciously over time. Will not for be know. Now for uh, add all them and they come to us with this now in a parliament with two billion. One name, the Public Elections Act, or the bill now, Public Elections Bill for 2022. And then the other one, uh, what would they talk about? Um, proportional representation. I, I don't, the, the, what's that the bill in name again? Anyway, the, the second bill, we're, we're going to do with uh, proportional representation in parliament. I think it's going to call it the something bill. But, these two have been put in parliament and parliamentarians are discussing it right now as we talk. I watch them this morning, Seth, the discussion on them. But we are not really see any, any zeal by <laughs> parliamentarian then. So now then thing they also with the can for can talk about today. Now, and then um, I get sporting, Cherry no bar, we probably um they will tell you a whole lot more about waiting in thing with them build there also, because. What you will see now for say parliament and the and the, gov the government of Sierra Leone, including parliamentarians that will belong to the opposition, they all they try to discuss this bill also and push them forward one year before we elections. So we'll talk about the implications then. Now, especially the uh, Public Elections Act 2022, we get some serious uh, implications for we elections next year. Now, when you talk, say, most people, whether you talk about this, they say the elections are next year. Okay, yes, elections are next year, but the registration, now just about a month away from today, or two months at most in September, will start. So without much ado, and given that overall background, I want to pass on now to a uh, master of Denka in Tiasu, Cherno Alpha Emba, we don't really do good work for a country. So Mr. Ba. First question I want to ask you. Now, who's one panel area for you go on for talk about? And if now the Public Elections Act, what thing I didn't think them, what really you go on for make we learn and understand more about? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And I want to also um, recognize the number of people where they come in and also remind, remind you also as the the host for pay attention to the waiting room. I don't know, I think, you know, the waiting room, so people go able for um, join. And before we begin to talk about the bills, I don't know if we get rules or method how people can get for participate, if we will tell them one thing so that. Yes, we do. We get ground rules. First of all, everybody we come in, they come in as muted. That means they will talk. However, after the presentation and Chernobyl in the discussion, we go open and out, open up for a few questions. But also we can utilize the chat. I'm going to pay keen attention to the chat. We are going to bring questions in there from, from there in front of Chernobyl. The reason why we don't want people to talk is because we don't want any kind of disruption. So make sure so we get to program on time and and and, and you know. Let it run smoothly. That's what we believe. So on that note, I turn over back to you, Chair. Yes. So before I continue with the public elections, I also want to remind uh, with people I'm on Zoom, 
and the um, online audience that this first discussion, now the beginning of an ongoing series where we will try for launch, because we find out a number of things that we don't publish on Sierra Leone, a number of articles now, we don't pass almost more than 50 articles dealing with the corruption and the current financial mismanagement as alone. And since March 1 to now, uh, we start March 1, 2020. So I think almost a two year, six month. Uh, we don't do, we don't do continuously the publish on, on, on the ongoing financial operation of the government of Sierra Leone. And we articles and cover almost all major sectors of the government from the office of the president, the chief minister's office, um, the minister of finance, Virtually, there is hardly any major sector of the administration from the uh, National Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, we don't talk about um, air, airline taxes and all, all, all of this. We don't go, you know, when I can remember, it's difficult for even keep track of all of the publications we don't make. But key things that we need to establish. As at the time when the African Express been intervening into the situation as alone, Virtually everything will be the talk about corruption and corruption will be the deal with um, the, the previous government. Corruption dealing with the APC. So until we step in, almost largely the corruption of the government of Julius Madabio has never occupied international conversation. That not means say, the Sierra Leoneans in and outside of Sierra Leone not say the government corrupt, but, of, but we can claim say, and rightly so, um, that the first time the corruption of the, of the government become really an international affair, now when the African Express publications hit the international uh, media space. And they've been reflected and cited by the BBC. Now the first time the corruption involving the wife of the president, uh, the first lady, current first lady of Sierra Leone was reported on the BBC and discussed. The second one was Radio Deutsche Bella and all of these international media channels. So what will we try for emphasize here? Now the fact that the, the impact of the African Express work has gone beyond the borders of Sierra Leone to the extent that when the president was being interviewed last year by the BBC and of course um, CNN, details of we, of we publications were referenced. Part of the questions include details of we, of we publications. So virtually there is, there is no place in Sierra Leone, perhaps for people within a saloon and the feedback we will get from this distance who have remained unaware of the publications that we're making. But also we realize say, plenty of people and perhaps because of the level of literacy or even people where they read, there is always the tendency for make them, you know, them not get the real meaning of some of the publications will be they publish. And this don't become obvious because sometimes people come to me with questions about what is this and what is this I have to go through individually explaining. So we don't resolve now this time, say we they begin hold online conversations of this nature where we go um, build a direct relationship with the reading audience of the African Express, both within Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone, including non Sierra Leoneans. And apart from what you see on Facebook, the African Express website, I would encourage people to subscribe. So that if you get an email, subscribe, they will try to make sure, say, we tie we uh, website again to uh, Facebook and I mean to WhatsApp and other forms of social media so that we want to publish on the website, somebody no need for forward and to you individually you go directly on your phone. So, but the website right now we get over 650,000 active subscribers. If we check the number of Salonians, they are not up to 500. Why important for me for Steluna, that for um, explain to Una perhaps why some of the publications have been cited by international media organizations, international media institutions, or international policy foundations, and the extent to which we conversations ago. So for we, in fact, the use of social media um, 
it, it has been for the benefit of the Sierra Leonean audience, but we don't need for publish now Facebook or WhatsApp perhaps for make the international community and the greater majority of readers and over the years get access to the publications. The website has been the fundamental, and it has been the fundamental channel for the distribution of we information across the world. And, and the reason why I tell you again, there has been for the last two years, constant attack on the website, mostly from people located or from locations coming from Sierra Leone, both from New England, from Hill Station, from Lomley and different places. With time, we therefore begin publish the map showing the specific locations in Sierra Leone where online attacks to bring down the African Express website has, has come from and perhaps locate specific uh, building areas, areas where we think say that they so will help you understand. There has been um, attacks on the African Express outside of the borders of Sierra Leone, some from Nigeria, some from Kenya, some from the United States, increasingly Texas and California. Um, but on a percentage level, when we assess them, only 20% of the online operation for bring down the work of the African Express has come outside of Sierra Leone. Most of it has happened from people or places or operators out within Sierra Leone where they try to bring down a website. On several occasions, they've been able to do that. We sometimes in a day, we they spend four or five time putting the website on, put it where they go off. Some of them will not even announce them because we say, okay, it's an ongoing fight. Why some of them, I know they take notice of that because Largely, the distribution of information when I don't get access to run through Facebook and through WhatsApp. So when I don't know this war, the attack on the African Express on the internet. And why it's important for me to talk about this, now for telling now why also we decide for begin move from the website to Facebook and Twitter and WhatsApp to direct uh, community broadcast. So what have we done? We are currently setting up our operations outside of Nigeria to see how we go able for the communicate with people of Sierra Leone via virtual radio, um, uh, a virtual radio process, whether an online radio. So far, we know say within the United States and outside of the United States, if we current operations allow you to able to listen to this week conversation without necessarily tuning to the internet by dialing uh, an access code. So we explore the possibility of making sure people within Africa, especially West Africa and Sierra Leone, will be able to uh, listen to with conversations in the future without necessarily coming online on Facebook. By, for example, if you dial 117 or 133, you know, some kind of a free access code, we will allow you for listening to we, just like you listen to FM radio. Why are they announced this? This now what we don't they do carry on now for see how we do because there has been a constant effort of the government of Sierra Leone of, and, and, then, and, then, and the various agencies of the government of Sierra Leone, and now by extension, sectors of the opposition, where they decide, say, um, we, we publications, not for circulate. And Recording one way in progress. One way they don't do that, now for, now for canvas sections of the media for making an interview with our radio stations and saloon or TV stations. And for me, as a Sierra Leonean, having worked in Sierra Leone as a journalist at least for 20 years, this is the first time in these two years where a red, red tele, national television not ever interviewed me regarding the work. It never happened in the 10 years of the Anis Bay Kuruma government when I was there. It never happened. Every radio station had interviewed me in Sierra Leone before under the APC of Anis Bay Kuruma. This is now the first time in the history of me own practice as a journalist in at least in 20 years that radio stations and television stations, including the national television, have refused deliberately to interview me, not because I'm complaining, but for telling the extent of the um, effort of the government for keeping conversations away from public access. So we don't decide for, for work on granting access to the people of Sierra Leone because access to information is a fundamental right. Uh, guaranteed by the constitution of Sierra Leone and guaranteed by international law. So this process, this first meeting, when I got for, when I got for understand, so you people have become part of the experiment, the first experiment for see what kind of approach the African Express is going to use moving forward for make sure that the people of Sierra Leone not lost access 
to alternative information, real information regarding the operations of government. And I want for sure when I say, um, this is not just about the government of uh, the SLPP government led by Julius Madabu. It is work that preceded the Anes by Kuruma government. The African Express was founded in 2002, established. And it, it, we worked on grow. We even published books and other forms of uh, uh, work we would do for, for policy agencies that are not even published. So over the last four years, we worked on become much more of our interest to the people of Sierra Leone because of the nature of the repression that the country and the effort of the government for, for capture everything and including access, prevent people access to information, control access to information, even though we get access to information law in the country and access to information agency, we now get um, the, the gatekeep, there's a process to gatekeep information. So this discussion today, as important as the subject matter is, now for also inform una of the development, the institutional development, institutional thinking of the African Express regarding what the situation in Sierra Leone has informed us and what kind of policies and, and, and processes we are putting in place for make sure say we are not lost access to the information. And this is not a secret, which is why we are making sure it's also available to even the, the opponents of the African Express, the government of Sierra Leone, their allies in the media, in the political parties and others for understand say, we have arrived at a point in the history of the world where dictators cannot prevent journalists or citizens from having a conversation on questions that matter. So, and this is also part of transparency because our work is not a clandestine work, now work way legitimate and, and, and credible. So we have to make it available. So um, that kind of conversation is ongoing. Basically, what are the try for say? We they try part of the discussion for see whether this kind of conversation will be weekly or then will be continuous uh, uh, daily broadcast or perhaps every two weeks. So in the future, you will have people who are non serial unions that will invite to talk about specific expert questions, um, including different other places. Perhaps again, depending on how, what technology allows, we will, apart from our base in Nigeria, we will try to operate also from the United States so that we'll get the reliable technology just for giving the access to information and independent access to information. So I want for uh, assure one of that. Now, moving to today's conversation. Of course, uh, Mr. Masali, I must also thank him as one of the uh, dedicated Sierra Leoneans who have not only uh, volunteered his time and expertise, but also his commitment to ensuring that the, the dissemination of information relating to the work of the African Express as it relates to Sierra Leone is, is, has, cannot be stopped. And, and what does that mean? Uh, by December this year, we noticed an increase in effort by WhatsApp administrators for, for, for remove any individual who was participating in the circulation of information coming from African Express. And one of the few people that they've not been able to frustrate was, is Amadou Masali from our own knowledge. There are other people who they've done that too. So um, I want to use this opportunity on behalf of the press for thank, for thank, for thank you know, for express with appreciation to Ram and also call on people on this um, uh, chat, this meeting for help we thank him as well, because it's, it's a very difficult thing when you circulate information, participate in conversation, you get insulted, you get harassed, you get all kinds of, uh, uh, how do you call them, BS, <laughs> as the Americans call them, coming your way. So for since Radio and dedicated to the extent that he formed the first African Express WhatsApp group, bringing people from all different shapes of opinion into that group. And now we get multiple groups now that we've set up just to disseminate information. So if you, if you then I have, we'll be saying, you know, I'm a member of each of we WhatsApp mailing group, the reason, We'll be, we'll not have been set up that kind of groups then, they, but we decide for doing now because we see, say, WhatsApp administrators in Sierra Leone, we are preventing the circulation of information, a government effort now backed by certain sectors of the opposition who are allied, who are allies of the government. They work with Madabio for give them a second term, give them a second term. So they cannot challenge the validity of our publications, but in the, then they try to frustrate the circulation of information, including telling their own people not to circulate our information. So we don't take upon the responsibility now, say we circulate information to every corner, every village, every place, not just now in Sierra Leone, but to every area of the world. And at that process we explore. And this process again, now for bring us closer to people behind the press so that we we'll feel involved in our activities by having these direct conversations and with the institutionalizer. 
Um, that na, that na, so I don't go uh, belabor too much on that, but I, I feel say as, as part of a committed audience, it's our responsibility to inform you and also carry you along in this journey of information dissemination, a new age of what of the promise of, 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 of this technology and technological revolution has provided to citizens of the world for take upon the responsibility, not just of managing uh, technology for the development of society, but also for, for build communities of progress and, 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 and consciousness, which is what um, this process of learning and work uh, don't inform me. So now we get two significant documents were very important to the lives as citizens of Sierra Leone. And because they relate to the politics of Sierra Leone, some members of our, of our uh, press, our audience, they, they're part of the audience. They, they decide for hold on their views because they are not citizens of our country. So they don't want to perhaps, apart of reporting it, give opinions, me as Sierra Leonean. And what I say here is because I'm a citizen of Sierra Leone and I get the same rights as anybody in, in Sierra Leone. So I am making those comments, as a, I'm making these comments today as, as a citizen of Sierra Leone, apart from my official responsibility or professional duty as a journalist, but I'm commenting, making comments here as a citizen of Sierra Leone who is directly affected by the developments in Sierra Leone. And only for telling us, right now I cannot go to Sierra Leone because if I go there, there is every possibility that they will not just put me in jail, they, are, they, will, they will kill me. The government has, has committed that on paper. And, and we're already familiar with, with the conversation about that. Um, so basically, uh, I consider myself rightly so based on, on the available evidence that the government of Sierra Leone has decided to exile me because of the because of my commitment for exposed corruption as alone. And members of the opposition have also shown that they are committed, they are united with the government around that question, and which will form part of our conversation today. So having said that. We get two important documents, um, the Public Elections Act or the Public Elections Bill of 2022 and the Political Parties Act of 2022, two important documents that the government of Sierra Leone decide for introduce at this time, a year to the election, as Mr. Masali say, uh, we get for do with two uh, aspects, two hinge on two aspects of, of the rights of, of, of citizens. One, therefore, deal with the right to political, the right, we right to association, we have a fundamental right of every citizen, that the political parties act. The political parties act that the, that the law will govern uh, the organization, operation, and conduct of political parties. We allow citizens to constitute a political organization of the union or belong to a political organization of the union and participate in the political process of the, of the country. Or basically, it's one of the, the avenues where the constitution provide through which citizens um, exercise the right to association, in this case, political association. So that constitutional right. Now the constitution provides a, for make, we, we forget an institution, we for regulate how we exercise, we write the constitutional right to political association. And that institution is called the political parties registration commission. PPRC, and, that, and they get the, the laws. And so in 2002, the Political, Party, the, 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 the Political Parties Act was established as a law with a guide, not just the operation of the, of the commission, we're responsible for regulating the citizens' their right to association, political association, but also their right, their right for um, the right to form political parties and get views of the uh, you know uh, philosophy of the union and articulate that philosophy. So then called that one the Political Parties Act of 2002. Now, as we talk now this year, right now, this week, parliamentarians begin for discourse how for change that law that was set up in 2002 with the law for deal with how you form a political party, how now they run a political party, how political party, of course, well, I all know about PPRC and the role where they don't play, for example, with the APC uh, court cases and drama and petitions and all of that. And, and so now they want to change the law. So the question is, we have to ask yourself, what is the new law where political party, where, poli where, the, where these parliamentarians they talk about regarding the 
the uh, political parties registration commission and also the exercise of people and rights to association political association that that law is before parliament now or the bill is before parliament for discussion and and and, and, and approval the second important law which also deals with the constitutional right of citizens is the right to vote the right to participate in the electoral process both as a candidate for elected office and as a voter as a citizen that wants to elect people to represent um, you in elective office basically this now the, now the law will govern with democratic arrangement we govern with representative democracy so parliamentarians don't decide for introduce a new legislation a new law we then call the uh public elections act uh, this right now you can call it a public elections bill 2022 we for change the process and the method and the laws governing the conduct of elections as a and this law also for replace a similar law we already exist we get for deal with that law was was called the political the public elections act of 2012 okay so this year this week the parliamentarians bring in front of the parliament proposals for change two of the most important laws we get for deal with with politics with political arrangement we right to vote we right for participate in the democratic arrangement of the country and then decide for do this without public without publicity and without basically um informing without they not inform the, the, the citizens so we learn about this if we don't learn about this process say they go on so we wait until the, the 20 the 20th of june when they don't present the first bill before parliament we then call the public elections act 2022 they begin say now they don't start to then call pre-legislative conversation pre-legislative meeting the meeting where they for into wave then they introduce this bill in the parliament and parliament and begin look at them and, and, and admit them for, for, for debate in the parliament, admit them for discussion, reading and, and, and debate in the parliament, and then, then pass them. So we were shocked by the fact that parliamentarians, well, I mean shocked, we, the African Express, we don't know about the process that parliament and the politicians cabinet has been going through for develop this legislation from the, you know, throughout the process of drafting this legislation in the attorney general's office the law officers department and the meetings preceding this this conversation up to the point where they put them but we never said anything because we wanted we want to see what in these parliamentarians and the government would do before then then table this carry this in a parliament and as it turned out it was taken to parliament without um the notice of the public so a post basically triggered the conversation by saying but as soon as they as other public conversations that go on, police brutality and other kinds of conversations we don't go on from March to now, where everybody energized and they focus on that, especially on social media. When I not forget, say, this week, parliamentarians are now in front of parliament, two of the most important legislation we can deal with a right to association and right to right to political association and right to vote. And then I, I raise also the question, say, it is interesting that parliamentarians decide for discuss this without consultation and without input from citizens who are going to be affected by this uh, legislation, by these, two doc by these two important changes in the laws. So um, when, I, when I already am aware of the discussion, there was silence and all of that and argument after argument. Then we went ahead after saying this and say parliamentarians for, for make the document available to the public they will make this lawyer available so then we see response from parliament parliamentarians then say okay they don't call for the soft copy some of them said they've distributed it and we find out as i, as I talk as i, as I, as I talk now i believe say perhaps if we check most of the people in this meeting perhaps 80 percent of we except because we don't already make them available now but not even see this the document and able to get the doc, copy of the document and that means say perhaps 80 percent of Sierra Leoneans no don't get access to this document and even those who have gotten access to it if you check in there they honestly many of them 
Nogodon. Um, basically, read what in this law they about. So we have been done publish one article on the one aspect of the law, the election law. And at that, I want to focus this discussion because we're not going to spend the whole time and talk about the whole law, which deals with the question of the voter register. The question of the voter register and the proposal regarding the voter register and why that's important. So um, we, we article, what we publish, talk say, um, there has been changes in the voter register, the details regarding the voter register, basically the process of registration. They don't, they don't change significant aspect of the process of registration and that affect everybody we go for vote. We go for register for vote. So we decide for draw that attention to the public because this one is a common man's issue. There are other issues we don't talk about the, the law, proportional representation, that go for deal with how we elect MPs or how the parliament is going to be populated if this law pass and issues around the time limit regarding the uh, uh, the time limit regarding uh, when for organized presidential elections and 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 a range of other issues including thirty percent quota for women you know which they call to seem or diaspora voting all of these questions they inside the new legislation but for this conversation since I the first one at the introduction of the conversation I don't spend a lot of time for giving an overview of voting this important so I go on for make we just focus on the question of the voter register and see what that tiny aspect of uh, the new law or the new proposal for change the law, get for affect voters and we write to vote and we write to re for register as voters and why important for we, for discuss them and understand them. So I don't know at this point, um, before I go into the details of them, I go on for take a pause first, because I don't say a lot of things and see if there are questions uh, or if the moderator goes give a summa summarize some of the things they were say so before we move or maybe ask a question may not just be would say or if we allow take a few questions from the other class say the chat room has some questions before we go into the before we go into the the, the discussion of the of, of the document mr masali i'm passing it over to you okay sir thank you very much for the warm up day uh, it was amazing to me how you were able to recite so lengthy so I don't think see the read notes, I mean, just off head, I guess, you know, the, the intimacy with, of what you're going to do and um, is strong and you've articulated them very well. And, and thank you for reminding me about the Political Parties Act, what they call a Proportional Representation Act. <laughs> Same difference. But very good. Uh, we, yes, we get one question, at least what I don't see, but I feel it's premature for now because the question is, say, so what's in here for happy now if then if they if power power force them bills uh, through parliament? That kind of question that we want for no answer at the end, yeah. But it left to you now. You know the man, me now just the moderator no more in between you and the and the audience. Um but very good. And I like the way how you set her up. Say yes, indeed, we get many issues there inside this particular bill, but arguably, probably this why you want to talk about now the most important. Well, to me now, you know, the most, mo most important thing when we don't see inside the bill. So it left to you, if you want to answer this man in question, Mr. Lamin Danke, we can do that, or we can keep on for, I mean, maybe later on in the discussion. It's up to you. No, I, I think before we talk about what thing will happen, if you then decide for go ahead and force the yeah. legislation or then pass the legislation, because, because I, um, I understand the parliament don't even uh, start the conversation today. In fact, they don't question for us the legislative procedures, when a different conversation, different issue, the procedure uh, regarding how to approach parliament with such a uh, kind of law. But interesting to we that that kind of conversation seem to have come, come up in parliament only after over 10 days when the bill has gone through pre-legislative arrangement or discussion or conversation and from the conversation today where we are in at the parliament, um, a first reading of it has supposedly happened. And I think they were in the second second reading. I hope um, I did not, I did not, uh, I know Yeri, I know Miss Reed or Miss, Miss Yeri, what did I say? You will correct me, Amadou, uh, Mr. Masali, in case um, that's not what it is. But from what I understand, parliament 
parliamentarians were debating the procedures regarding section 108 of the constitution that the the document itself that the, the piece of legislation uh, require a constitutional amendment and therefore deal with the constitutional questions first before they would say but then the question is why did they have to wait until this stage and 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 the the responses of the of the ruling party mps to the opposition party mps themselves is amazing but that's a separate conversation where i think they will come to that regarding where parliament is with the current uh legislation with the current bills or the current proposals to amend the political parties act and the uh public elections act uh we'll come to that and what, what will happen in case nothing change from the current how the document and what are the implications where um that that therefore calls to the country and and to citizens within the country and outside of the country but for now uh if no other question or no other comment regarding what i have said there that, is another uh, question okay sorry okay. go ahead Regarding what I don't say about the expansion, access to information, and, and the plans of the African space and this open discussion series, and, and how the format get for change or how we get for improve, then we can move into the legislation itself. Well, so here's another question from Alberta. Did you just address that? No, no, you get for read the question to me. I'm not there you go. What are the legal implications of this? And is the legal system per se? aware of this change and what are their reactions to this yeah i, I think so, that's what they can't talk about now uh, regarding within the within the law within at this within this change we're going to change we're able to discuss everything in the legislation uh we talk about 75 page document and we will continue this conversation as 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 we go as we, uh, as we progress, as, as time they progress, depending again the developments in Parliament, I think Parliament they meet on Tuesday again for begin to talk about how to address the legislative aspect or the constitutional requirements for making them even begin debate um, the bill. But yes, the, you cannot have that kind of a, a idea for change the law without people they not they not even know uh, why for change them. Every law has an intention. There's an intent. For example, if you say we want to make law say all man for what they wear, uh, for change how people in the dress, there's a reason why you decide for say you for you for recommend you for make law we for dictate how people them for um, dress or how many picking and people them for get in the country for 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 regulate childbirth. There must be a reason. Either you believe say population the swell or people you know. So besides the content of a legislation. There is always the, the intent, the reason why governments or policymakers decide say they need legislation, they need a law for carry out a particular uh, governmental activity or political activity. So that said, I want to also emphasize the fact say it is the it is the it is the function of parliament to make law. Parliament parliaments all over the world, now they own functional responsibility for make legislation, for make law. Parliament. Part of the duty now for make law examine uh, 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 you know the legislative environment and make sure so they make law and in, in so doing parliament for make law for advance the development of a country advance the development of society including the protection of the rights the liberties and the properties of citizens so why would they talk about this law that is not to say parliament not get right for pass an election law that's not the, that's not the point but what would you be the type of talk about that the fact say parliaments all over the world should not make bad laws okay parliament know they make law or no supposed to make law where they affect the development of the people of a country or the country itself parliament not for make law we for violate the rights the liberties or affect the properties of citizens so in this case we are having a conversation because we believe and don't see evidence within the content of this proposed law where Parliament will make say it is a law that is going to affect our rights and by extension affect with, with civil liberties and by extension also it will affect the safety of the country and thereby the properties of people because if a law lead to significant controversy to the point of conflict it will lead to crisis if it lead to crisis it will affect the economy it will affect or the social aspect of, of, of society, including even the properties of people, the stability of a society. And bad laws 
bad law that it can have some of the impact that of a bad law, which is why next time citizens are engaged regarding this law. So what is what is the thing that we've considered as as uh, a potentially uh, negative impact or law we get for, we get forget a negative impact on the rights of citizens? There is a provision in this current bill for change the electoral register, and that provision is in clause 13. 1A of the current bill. Hmm? So I don't know if you be say, um, we go able to project the aspect of the document. If you go able for share them for we, Mr. Masali, so people go able to share, say them. Or if you go read them for we, so people go area. I think reading it, let's start by that reading it. So people will see what will they talk about in the um, current document. 20, the Public Elections Act 2020, if I want to say uh, clause 13, 1A. You are muted. Okay. All right. Yes. I know I don't put you on the spot. I don't know if you get document in front of you, but I, I do. You. Okay. I do. 13 1A. Well, is, is, well, I don't. I'm not sure this is the same one. Sorry, I mean that the wrong clause are these two. Thirteen one need I go. I have the document open right in front of me. So thirteen one a. Thirteen one. Here it is. So thirteen one a falls under part three. Starts of part three with the title Registration of Voters. And what we have here is, uh, one second. Maybe I should read the whole sentence, but I'll go to 1A. Yeah. Okay. We can go there shall, start, can a national, the sorry? We can start from top. Yeah, this speaks for the register of voters. Yes. There shall be a national register of voters to be known as the register of voters which shall contain a the names and particulars of persons who are entitled to vote in public elections and referenda including their a b c d or one two three four underneath that yes including what Before, including yeah. one national identification number mm -hmm. two date and place of birth three sex and four Signature or thumbprint. Okay. So yeah. So in that in that uh, proposed clause, we don't already see the introduction of a new, uh, you know, the ad addition of uh, what we call registration requirement or the registration details that a voter is required to have or to, to you know to include what the registration officer need for include in the voter register. And that addition, that addition in itself, um, now a change in the existing law that we have been using since 2012. And that existing and 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 that revision is I think in section um, 12 of the of the Public Elections Act of 2012. So I don't know if you get the, the document again, we can read that, maybe see the addition so that people will see what is added. I do. And, uh, okay, please go to section 12 of, of the of the Section existing, 12 of the 2012 Act. Where it says the voter register in the previous- Okay, uh, one second. Yes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and read again from yes. part three. Register of voters and registration of voters. So he had a longer title that was shorted yeah. in the new bill. Yeah. There is hereby, well, 12 1. Yeah. There is hereby established a national register of voters in this act, referred to as the register of voters, which shall contain the names of persons who are entitled to vote in public elections and referenda. Um Two, the register of voters shall contain, but shall not be limited 
to the following particulars. A, the full name of the voter. B, the voter's date and place of birth. C, the voter's residential address at time of the registration. D, the voter's sex. E, the voter's signature and thumbprint. F, a column to indicate whether or not a voter has voted. G, date of registration and voting. H, the form of identification used. And I, the word in which the voter is ordinarily resident. Yes. So we find uh, when, you, when you compare the two documents, the Public Elections Act of 2012 and the current proposed Public Elections Act of 2022 that is before Parliament for their discussion, debate, and approval, you will find out, say, in, the, in that aspect of the voter register alone, two uh, revisions have been made. Okay, one that you can identify is the addition of the national identification number as NIN as part of the new uh, uh, detail that should be added to the voter register. So basically, the voter register has been alt you know, they don't alter the voter, they are proposing to alter the voter register to request the inclusion of the national identification number of everyone that is going to be registered as a voter than a one. The second addition, the second revision is the replacement of the word A-N-D and with the alternate or when it comes to the question of the voter's signature or thumbprint. Okay, in the previous act in 2012, the law provides that when you register, you for do a signature and thumbprint. Okay, they use the word, the coordinating uh, 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 word, the coordinating, you know, word, A-N-D. So preposition in this case. So now we have, we have um, O-R instead of A-N-D. That's the, that, that is what has been replaced in that section, in that particular uh, section. So what are the implications? Because in any legislative changes, even a punctuation, even a punctuation has its own implication, okay? <laughs> it, get, it, get, it carry your own implication because even if you change a, a comma or a full stop for, to a comma, you get your own rationale. There should be a reason for that. There should be a reason for, in, for deciding to change a, a coordinating word, you know, or a preposition, a verb, or any other operating operating word in itself, because it, it, the, the alteration of a particular word in any written sentence changes its meaning or, its, or, or the purpose for which you do it. So in this case, we, in that section are two changes only, and this is what we want to focus on. And then we, go, um, we will see the accompanying section or the accompanying clause as, as it is in section 20, or 24 in the current proposal how the two, you know, can be read and perhaps understood and whether um, it carries, what, what are the implications in William judgment regarding, you know, why it's important for citizens for, for pay emphasis on this kind of um, <laughs> changes. So what is the NIN? The NIN is basically a national identification number. In the, in the past, you not require, in 2012, according to the law, you not require an NIN. So if, if, the, if the law talks say, where well, you come for register, when a voter turn up, turn up for register to a registration officer, the registration officer will take a name, in date of birth, all of the details, including a national identification number. If the national identification number is absent, the question we raise, can the voter be registered? Or even if the voter is registered, can he or she be considered as completely or properly registered? Okay, so in this case, it is obvious with the current proposal as it is, if it goes out and becomes a law, then we say it risks excluding the greater majority of potential voters, qualified voters for the next election. 
because registration, mind you, is happening in on the 4th of September. And today is the 30th of June. By Tuesday, when Parliament meet for begin continued and conversation on this legislation, we will now be in July. So as we, why is it important for us to raise this conversation now? Because majority of potential voters in Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone, including people in the, what we call the diaspora of Sierra Leone, who want to participate in the electoral process by going home to register, do not have a national identification number. Now we go examine other part of this proposed legislation we deal with the ability of the electoral commission for organized perhaps um, opportunities for people to register perhaps outside of Sierra Leone or maybe vote outside of Sierra Leone. That's a different discussion, which we are not going to enter into for this for the purpose of this meeting. We want to limit, we want to limit our conversation, this first conversation on the NIN and, 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 the, and the implication. Now, last year, May, May, if all of you remember, the National Civil Re Registration Authority organized a national civil registration process. And many people in the Western area, in the Northwest of the country, and in largely what could be considered opposition uh, strongholds, we are unable to easily register, including people in Freetown. And part of the problems were that the fact that the registration machines are not being, they're not, they're not being available. There were issues with the technology, the, the, the um, access to the machines, insufficient machines, uh, insufficient technology, and all of them here, let me, let me raise So even as NACRA extend registration, there are still people who do not have their names or their details registered up to now. And why is important? Because now NACRA, the NACRA issued national identification number has been written into the, or proposed to be included in the national elections arrangement. So the question, what are the implications? How these people will they name the Northern at the NACRA registered um, data? and the Nugget NIN will participate in the elections. And whether there is sufficient time from now to the period we don't go start the registration and end registration, these people will have the opportunity of getting an NIN and be registered. Okay, so that for we is a question that parliamentarians who have, who are debating this particular, or who are discussing and are going to debate and approve this legislation need for provide an answer to in terms of how do they see the national identification number and its inclusion, why it was included, why it was added in the first place, why did they decide to think about including the national identification number into the electoral law? And in we own assessment of the situation, we knew there was a history now, there's already a history to the process. They're not just wake up one morning and say, we want to make national identification number in the new legislation. Okay, they're not just wake up and decide for Duan. It is part of governmental policy now, now part of a policy with government, operational policy of the government of Sierra Leone. And this goes back to a document where we Mr. They can share on, on the screen for everybody for see. So the, the, by the way, may I just add, uh, um, announce up front, say both legislations, both um, the Public Elections Act of 2012 and the uh, Public Elections Act of 2022 as the bill, they are available on the African Express website for free download. We don't they also circulate on now with various WhatsApp groups them. And anybody who want a copy, if you not get copies of both documents, we can also help to make them available. Um, to, to, so people were interested, including our viewers or participants in this in this um, in this meeting. Sure so why 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 did we raise the NIN as a first point of objection to the legislation or a first point of um, concern to this proposed legislation? Now the fact that, as I, as I mentioned earlier, it is now a governmental policy. We came to understand that in March, in early March or the 4th of March, Parliament 
approve a 15-year contract that gave Construct Systems, Sierra Leone Limited, the right for begin, or the authority for begin produce national identification uh, documents, including the production of NINs for citizens of Sierra Leone and residents of Sierra Leone. And this includes ECOWAS, ID cards, and all of that. So I will share my screen so that I will show people what they talk about. So they'll be able to foresee where we are coming from as an organization, what, what we mean by this. And share the document. I want to make one see. Oh, pardon me. We don't see the film that we can watch. No, oh, I'm a boy. I'm a picking in. <laughs> I'm a picking game. I know. I get a scientist where they look Roblox. He makes a. Me, 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 Bobo, they play what you call Roblox. <laughs> okay, this is what I want to show you, people. I don't know if me, if me screen. Yes, um, maybe you have for enlarge and right, yeah, maximize them. Okay, in this document, as, as soon as they see, we get to call Naya agreement for the production and issuance of securitized multi purpose identity cards, national, non national, and ECOWAS ID verification system and public infrastructure. Um, then, you know, this is a national, a, a national civil registration authority and construct systems that are limited. When I go for patients with women, we tell them now why would they show now this? So, as you see, this contract for the production and issuance of securitized multipurpose ID cards was an agreement made on the fourth, of, fourth day of March 2022. There are so many things we can say about this agreement. You know, regarding perhaps even the people who work at this company and the, the interested parties in this company, and whether this agreement itself was was basically approved by you know approved by parliament without following certain procurement rules and regulations and all of that, and whether due diligence was made in terms of the granting of this contract. But for the purpose of this co uh, conversation, we will limit. We know we're going to that one day, but uh, a, 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 an issue that we are going to look at as African Express, we're going to publish details regarding this contract, the interest of the president in this contract, and the processes through which parliament approved this contract, perhaps, and find out exactly whether parliament been checked if this, com if this contract complied with procurement regulations or the process of bidding and arrangement and all of that. You know, we get to come, come to the whether it was even put on a, on a public tender. But, but you see this company, basically, this agreement, Parliament signed this agreement, then they, they entered into this agreement on the 4th of March, 2022. And this is the agreement where NACRA gave to a company for begin produce ID cards. And, and that process means say, that the process to which people will begin get their NINs as well, because we go take ID card or documentation, then it will give you a national identification number that, they, that they're part of the process. So this agreement, this company, you see all, even the cost of the ID cards there, I will, go, I will show you now all. Um, 15 years, can you imagine? It's a 15 years contract given to this uh, uh, company. I'm not gonna spend time to talk about this contract, uh, the corruption arrangement relating to the granting of this contract and all of that and how it was approved and, and whether due diligence, if parliament even carried out an investigation into this, or, or it's just one of those agreements that they just approve when it gets to them, you know. But we go, this conversation no go, no go, go about that. I just want for scheme to ensure now. These are the, the March. So when Parliament Parliament approved this contract and authorized this company for carry on, you will see, you you will see, you know, all of these are the kind of ID cards where them plan for, for carry, carry, you know, um, get for produce. And that this, this company will only begin doing work around um, 
October. Then when you go to the NACRA now, the final say, they also issue a press release after we parliament approved this agreement, announcing on the 25th of March, 2022. This is not much we talk about. So, and this is important for our note then steps there because it hinges on the history of the inclusion of the national identification number into the law that parliament is currently discussing. So why we the reference then document the government document that for, that for establish the fact say, the decision to include in the national identification number into the new law is not an accidental decision. No, to, they not just wake up for doing. It is part of an ongoing uh, systematized policy of the government of Sierra Leone that now you see update on the production of securitized multipurpose identity cards. So basically in this document, in this press release or statement, uh, NACRA then tell we say from now on, government don't already, and parliament don't already approve the cabinet policy and grant this company the right to produce ID cards and, and, and moving for digitized with system so that everybody should have an NIN and as for the access of services, access of services therefore be based on the citizens then, then production of the national identification number. Then now I will go to the website again and show now a document where we publish dealing with, after we don't issue this agreement, this very, uh, this very, Mr. Masali, I don't know if you get the, the communique where we, where we've been shared regarding when, when the government begin implement. So basically after, after when they, they don't agree, say, I will stop the share for now and come I back to, to the conversation. You get the, you get the document, right? I do, communique. June 1, I was there said June 1st, to start yes. June 1st. Yes. We, yes. So I don't know if you will read that day for we, the communique signed by the NACRA, the Immigration Department, and also the Minister of Social, uh, Minister of Labor and Social Security. E I can pull them from my phone. If, if can you do that? Because I'm okay. I'm going to struggle a bit to locate the document. <laughs> I know. Okay, so, wait a minute. Here it is. Uh, is that it? No. Joint communique. Ministry. Here it is. Thank. By the way, make I just say we get a uh, honorable AKK right um, as part of the audience or part of the people in this meeting, and he he already make a comment on Facebook, say he want for he want for tell Parliament the own side of the story, so which is also important. <laughs> because now we can bring our MPs into the thing. So when we finish the overview and, and address that, we will consider hearing what uh, members of parliament, where they are perhaps with the legislation. I have the communique handy in my phone. You want me to read some parts of it or the whole thing? It's kind yeah, of long. Um, just read the introduction and perhaps where it takes effect. Okay. The NCRA, uh, the Immigration Department of Sierra Leone, and the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, in fulfillment of their respective legal mandates and ensuring compliance with the Cabinet's conclusion of 2nd March 2022, and the subsequent uh, ratification of the agreement between the National Civil Registration Authority and the Constrat System Sierra Leone Limited, dated 17th March 2022, for the production of biometric and securitized national ECOWAS compliant and non national identity cards. Oh, it's con sorry, I, this is a long sentence. ID ver identity cards. ID verification system and public key infrastructure featuring a unique, non-reputable and non-reusable national identification number. Linking, it's the same sentence, linking the mandatory use 
of the unique national identification number to access services that include, but not limited to immigration services, residence and work permits, hereby agree as follows. Wow. Th uh -huh. that, that effective 1st June, 2022, all applications for work permit, residence permit, passports, and other immigration services must in emboldened and all caps include the national identification number issued by the NCRA as a mandatory field. Number two, that the security features of the NIN ensures people have one unique identity recorded thereby removing cases of double or multiple identities per person, which may have security implications, may lead to pranks, identify oh, identity manipulations and fraud. Okay, sorry. Number three, the institutions signing this joint communique urge the general public to cooperate by providing the required mandatory field mentioned hearing, the NIN. The signed joint communique dated 16th May 22 comes into effect on 1st June 2022. They did not mention the elections. In, uh, this is my observation. Yes. They did not mention that it would be needed to register to vote at that time. Yes. But, but it says services, where you look at the first one, it says included but not limited to. Sure. So basically, um, in, why is this important? Why is this important as a reference in this kind of conversation? Because already by the beginning of June 1, I, I, I got to project the document. I try for make arrangements. Oh, so okay, sure. The document, maybe people can see what they talk about. Exactly. Effectively, what we just read about tell us say when Parliament um, approved the contract with Ngi construct the right for begin produce ID cards. So basically, they say now effectively, then they begin operationalize the issuance, the smooth issuance of ID cards, and by extension, you know, we take ID card, you not get NIN. So that arrangement was sealed and the contract given to construct for begin produce ID card and not begin produce ID card. As we talk right now, the production of identity cards has not, is not in progress in Sierra Leone. They know the gi, they know the gi ID card right now as they talk so. So because of the gi ID card, it means if you go to Nakra for go take, for go take an NIN, you know go able you know, go able for for. You know, go able for do. You know, go able for basically um, get an NIN. You know, we get an ID card. So if you go for register, if you go for go register right now for vote, then go for ask you for NIN, and and that they don't make an official policy, not just for register. Make I just project this document because I don't get on my screen now. Make we see what they talk about. Good. Of course, because it would be easy for me people to see. Yes. I don't know whether it's showing now. Yes. I can see it. Can everyone else see it? <laughs> Indeed, okay. Marion, five years ago, this was not a requirement. I'm responding yeah. to some of the chats. <clears throat> okay, so so with the CC, this particular document, where where would the show so? It not been the part of um, then basically the driver talks. Now, if you want an ID card, you want a driver's license, you want a a passport or any other or work permit in a saloon, you need basically for get an NIN that all these immigration agencies and all these other um, groups of uh, government agencies not for not for issue. I don't, I don't know if my screen is, <laughs> I don't lost even screen. I can see, I mean, yeah. Will you see the okay. screen? Okay. Oh, I hope I've not been. 
put off? You've been hacked. Probably. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, You're okay. still on. So, yeah, so you see now, say effective June 1, applications for work permits, resident permits, you know, and other immigration services must include the NIN as a mandatory field. So basically, that, that's a cabinet policy. So NACRA, Immigration Department, and, and Labor and Social Security don't say effective one, nobody, don't forget passport, don't forget work permit, including driver's license now, without you know, produce an NIN. In fact, when we see this document, we don't interview in the last week about five senior citizens of Sierra Leone. One of them tell we say, you go for go take driver's license, the road transport authority. You say, then tell and say, if you forget NIN, so you go, na, you go na, na NACRA. So I will stop for share this one and see if I will get back my full screen, okay? Say, if you go na NACRA, for me to get in, if you forget in, in NIN. So you end up for go na NACRA, for go take the NIN. You find out, say, NACRA know the issue ID card. So then take them, then forget and they sleep. Then they write the NIN now once more, like receipt. Now they give you receipt where you register. Then give you the receipt, say go. Look at the NIN now. Up to, you go to several days, you never forget them. For me to get the NIN. This is now the testimony of the individual who we interviewed to find out what is the process of getting an NIN. Another senior citizen, by the way, also who we interview, say, instead of go for take a passport, I mean, go for go take a birth certificate will be need because it will be need for use that birth certificate today for a particular service, immigration service will be need. So it go, they say for go bring an NIN. So it get for end up for go that the birth certificate of his birth certificate of his say, forget if I bring an NIN before they issue him a birth certificate. This is not birth and death. So it go na, it go na NACRA. This other person say, in be able to forget the receipts from NACRA because he get connection inside it. He knows somebody with senior, they were able to help him for making get the uh, receipt. Among the five people who we interview or who we talk to on this question, only that person, that the person we talk to, in good day, the following day, able to get in, in receipt. We get in NACRA, he go now before and get a birth certificate for go. Why, why is this reference important? It's important because Three weeks after when they begin implement this, on June 20, now in Parliament, in receive or introduce the current bill that they call the Public Elections Act of 2022. And interestingly for we, and not surprisingly, interestingly, but worrying as well, we find out, say, the national identification number, who we don't talk about now, we be say, you got to go to NACRA, forget her, for me to get birth certificate, or get passport, or get ID card, or get work permit, or get driver license. You know, pass. You know, then don't make them part of the registration detail we have to collect from you. So basically, they cannot. You cannot be considered properly registered if you don't have the um, national identification number. And the reason why we also no go discuss that particular uh, change because this change also why they reference they are this example the contract example where parliament approved in march the, this, the cabinet decision in march regarding the implementation of this policy and the communique signed by nacra and immigration department the, basically the government agency the way responsible for the issuance of identification document so we're responsible for the issuance of identification documents then don't make a, now an official policy say you therefore need an NIN. And now surprisingly enough or interestingly enough and worrying enough, we parliamentarian then they discuss a document again. We don't decide for include the national identification number as a mandatory requirement of the voter register. Now, few parliamentarians, including one way arrogantly tell me say, I know they read well, I don't read the document well. You say <laughs> section, you say clause 24. We will go even for comfortable for we, the lay people, away and see, say we know the read well. We will call on section 24 <laughs> of the current uh, draft 
we then get a recurrent bill. We then get in front of them. He said, make a go reader. Because according to that, there's proof of registration, proof for re of registration or proof for registration. I go want to make uh, Mr. Masali take time and read that part there for we in the new bill. So that people go here, everything that they say, they will be able to compare them. Because if, this MP tell me, say, I have not read, the, he said, me not read the bill. And I know if I read that, I'm go look section 24. So my response to him was, go, go on a public and make a statement, say, what do we say? Not to so, because what we want for you people to tell us, okay, we, we put NIN inside the team, but not to that, way, like you not get like a register. They will not get problem. <laughs> with that one news. Okay, so tomorrow when it comes, we're going to reference you. Now, that me tell her, please go to the public, go to AYV, go to SLBC, and go to the public platform and make the statement, tell me what's inside the law and what do what you mean so that we're not going to misread that. You don't understand. But I remind the MP back, wait, tell me, say, wait, tell me so. Tell her, say, but if you have a read, a land book pass you. <laughs> so you don't see. It. By the way, that MP, they know to, uh, the MP will get at this meeting, you know. <laughs> so make one of them one of suspect that say that this that this MP might just make that disclaimer they want it. Uh, I don't know if other MP do, but the MP with me they see now. I'm not doing talk so. Now in one why in company? Then they send for say I can I can find out if I don't read the law, and if I don't if I don't read and I don't read and find out. So I tell her say party man, I must know say I'm more educated than you. I, I will take you insult, but I do that. So please sir, read read for we the this. Uh, section 24, where they don't ask you for it. More we see how you relate proof of registration, I think. Section is, that the title of the, is that the title of the clause or, or quote and unquote section? Proof, proof or claim. Uh -huh. proof, of, proof of claim for registration. Okay, proof good. of claim for registration. 24 1. Mm -hmm. Registra a registration officer may, in satisfying himself, that a person is entitled to be registered as a voter requests from the person any of the following. A, a birth certificate or a naturalization certificate. A statutory, I mean B, a statutory declaration giving particulars of his birth. C, the testimony of a member of the local council in the area of his residence. What about hers? D, national identification number. E, any other satisfactory evidence of his entitlement to be registered as a voter. That's it. Okay. So, so, are, so basically, um, this, this, we don't get a register, you know? So the register talks, say, if you come for register, the registration officer for, for include your name, your date of birth, your national identification number, the place where you register. These are the details of the voter register. This is what it should have. And if we verify whether a voter has registered or has properly registered or completely registered, all of these listed information regarding the register the, the, will be included in the voter register as the mandatory law we, we, because you're not going to register you know we we'll go vote if you, you're not properly registered yeah because i got for yep. check including even when you register and when you vote and who say you vote you get for be part of the required information that should be contained in the voter register now there are provisions regarding the amendment of the voter register and all of that so um we get for we get for deal deal with that on a separate conversation for the sake of, sake of argument if we want to. Now, on this other section, they say, if you show up for register, the registration officer, you know, claim for register. Now, everybody, most everybody can forget an NIN. If you're in a salon, you, you're there under NACRA in, in um, database. You don't go take NIN. And this NIN is going to be given to citizens and non-citizens, national identification number. So, the only way a registration officer is going to determine whether the somebody will get an NIN will come for forward for register, because you get for proof say you're a citizen of the country. For me, you vote, you get for be a citizen. Only citizens in a country get the right for vote. In this case, even naturalized citizens, because they don't begin to talk about that in the in the current proposal of the law. 
Okay, so now you get the right for vote. So how do you know say you get right for register? You get for show, you get for present a citizenship, proof of citizenship in this case, or claim to citizenship. You get for provide a claim to citizenship or proof of citizenship will make you qualified for be registered, for be entered into the voter register. That is what section 24 in our own reading implies and means. Now it's the subject of, of interpretation. So thank God we get an MP in this meeting. Maybe they, they are thinking about it differently. In our own reading of it, the sex, that, that particular clause 24 that lists a, a alternate say for when you prove citizenship or you write to register, you can show a birth certificate. You can for show a birth certificate. Secondly, or you can for show a national identification number. Eh? Or any other, you know, the listed document, or maybe a competent uh, citizen within the area, either a chief, a member of parliament, or anybody with a respectable citizen, be able to testify, say this person here, now citizen, and not only citizen, is ordinarily resident in this area. But, you know, Usabia, you know, they are uh, uh, Chief Almami, they talk, say, uh, pa Masali, or pa Masali, we can talk, say, yes, as a Cherno. You don't do that. This, this boy, I don't do that. This area, and I yeah. for uh, seven years. I don't see I'm a neighbor. In fact, na 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 I'm a neighbor. I'm neighbor in Peking. So it's okay. Yes, yes. For Masali, na chief, na 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 in the area head head man, na imam, uh, na pastor, or na the honourable na the area. In fact, the honourable will write letter give you. You go. Okay. But here is a question. Make we say you you not get bad certificate. You not get all of that. But the chief would testify. Say yes. Not true. You are a citizen. Now, okay, this, they say for register you. What are the information what you need for making it, you completely register? It takes me back to the clause 13.1a, which is the listed information, the data, the bio data that should include the national identification number way for separate you from the non resident from the resident non-citizen who has a national who has a national identification number there is no there is no there are no two ways to get in around that so this is why in the in the case of the african express we asked that make parliament make parliament the first position was make par parliamentarians are discussing an important legislation dealing with the amendment of the public elections act 2022 and the public, the political parties act 2002, and they are doing so without consultation with the people and without the input of, of the people. Okay, that is not to say they don't have a right to change the law or make any law. As I say, we don't establish that on the get go. It's the right of parliament or the responsibility of parliament to make law. It's also the responsibility of parliament not to make bad laws or laws that affect the rights and civil liberties of citizens. And in this case, then I will first call when we make that. The parliamentary opposition leadership in particular then talk say they then call on the on the on the relevant institutions of government for provide the soft copy of the document to them for circulation to their member to their uh to this to, to their constituents and as at the time when we made that call we had already copies of these documents as they were taken to to to, to, to parliament on our own part as, as african express and when we make that one day so after we make this, I received four copies. Okay, subsequent to that, we received four electronic copies. One from the member of parliament sent to me by, you know, sent to me via WhatsApp. I think that member of parliament is on this and three other members of parliament sent me. And I received two other copies anonymously from numbers I do not know who are not part of my uh, WhatsApp list. We took that document, copies of this document sent by these people, and compared it with the copy that we had received, which was taken. This we only make this call on the day that the pre-legislative uh, 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 meeting start, or after the day of the pre-legislative meeting. That day we make the. They call highlight and the post is on my Facebook page. Why, why, why I'm making that reference here? Because 
we never wanted to have a situation where we will say, this is what is in this document that we've received, and somebody come in and say, no, you've received the wrong document. And to, to tell you that, when I made that comment, some private citizen wrote on my Facebook page and said, that individual said, he'd been present at parliament and during the pre-legislative discussion. And if they get a document, we've been a young document we've been getting, they find out it's different from the document where the MPs then get. To the extent that the person say we have the we have we are quoting from the wrong document. Then I told the person, no, I haven't. I respond in the, in the Facebook comment. I will go look at the history of my Facebook post and the chats around. Because usually I don't respond to chat on my comments on my Facebook. I just read them and just ignore. Sometimes I don't even read them <laughs> because you know. But in this case, I had to reply to this person because I know the individual is a lawyer and all that and say, I have not even posted the, uh, any document. I have just made reference to this and called on MPs to provide their constituents or the public the document that they have. And truly enough, I received multiple uh, responses from MPs. Like I say, almost seven copies of the document the following, the following morning. Um, sent to me. So we compare, and that was when we published our first article. We highlighted the uh, NIN as a proposed voter registration requirement that has the potential to exclude qualified voters and who we believe that qualification might happen in areas that are mostly opposition strongholds. And why, why we made that claim is based on what we observed, what we observed with the NACRA registration that happened last year, because we, we see the difficulty encountered mainly from areas in, West, in Western area, places from people complaining in the Northwest and the Northern part of the country. And even at that, we also know that there are significant parts of the country where people do not even know about NACRA, MCRA, or an NIN, who will not even bother about it, or who might potentially turn up to register. And if they need the NIN, if they left the legislation as it is for now, is going to be a potential impediment to voter registration. And why this one important to we? Why we highlight them? Because we think, see, the key essence of any election legislation the world over now for encourage voter participation for encourage citizens participation because when international internationally when we assess the democratic nature of an election we begin by assessing voter turnout we say voter turnout was 90 percent that is when with significant voter turnout they tell this, the quality of democracy in the country it also legitimize the the significant nature of representative democracy. You know, how many people turn out for vote? Therefore, do a lot in terms of the maturity of a, of a democracy and, and to what extent citizens are interested and want to be involved. And also, it gives also legitimacy to people who end up occupying elective, elective offices because they know the, the result of their position, the entrance legitimacy that they require is completely guaranteed. By the process of by, by the electoral process. So all over the world, when you do a legislation, electoral legislation in particular, you for you for think around that's what democracies all over the world do. Now a process for encourage, simplify, and make it easy for citizens for participate, for make them feel encouraged to participate. That is the essence of voter education. It is the essence of what we can call sensitization, than one aspect. So what does that mean? The law for make them simple for people for able to register easily. The law for also make them simple for people for able to vote easily. And how people go to vote easily for make polling stations accessible, available, you know, across and even near proximity to polling stations. And I think we voter laws or electoral laws supposed for Think people will make electoral legislation will think about how do we make sure if they are like when you take the the uh, election, the by-election as alone right now, 
will, will just happen. Now, Tonkolili, you compare the number of pooling stations in that area, perhaps, and the number of pooling stations and other areas, especially in, in, in was it Kenema or other side, side where, 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 end up, where end up happen? You check the, the proportional distribution of pooling stations across regions. There are concerns about the imbalance, you know, you get less pooling stations in certain regions and more pooling stations in certain regions, including even NACRA, NACRA how NACRA registered, there were more machines per deployed in areas that are likely considered uh, um, ruling party strongholds or where the SLPP believes it can generate more votes, it tend to deploy more machine for registered people then under and, and NACRA in the just concluded NCRA registration. Whereas in areas where they believe voters are likely to vote for opposing parties, then, then deploy less machines. So even in the distribution of polling stations, this now issue that affects voter participation. So when they make law, these are the issues that should be factored into in legislation. How do we make it composed in our legislation to make sure say the deployment of pooling stations and pooling centers, ballot boxes are equally distributed according to region, you know, the regions without balance, because these are all uh, challenges to voter participation. So that's not what the laws are supposed to do. Then again, another aspect of voter legislation, where, vote, where electoral legislation for do, now how for make sure say, they reduce the waste in 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 votes, which is what you can call invalid votes, invalid votes. Now basically, now waste of votes, now vote waste. Now like the waste, what we call about leakages in, in in corruption. You don't understand closing leakages. So the electoral commission and parliamentarians who are making legislation, electoral legislation, for think about how for close the loopholes or the leakages for make sure say votes they not leak, they not become wasted they not become invalidated. And that speaks to what we call voter technology. If you develop a technology of voting that makes sure the least educated or the uneducated voter should be able to cast their ballot, vote without, hind without even assistance or direction. And the most, the most, the oldest person go able to cast in ballot in a proper way, where we say, you know, get difficult, no, we even get assistance for doing. Basically, simplify the voter technology. So, if possible, say, when you look at the number of invalid votes that they just concluded by election, na Tonkolili, it's so scary. And some of that, in order to deal with the inability or the lack of understanding of how to vote, it could be potentially the technology of voting, the unfriendly nature of the ballot paper. And perhaps the way you crowd the candidates closer to each other in the sense that when somebody turn print or, you know, the, the risk for make the, for make the vote become valid in the process of folding or what is go go make the vote invalid, not because the individual has not made, had not voted properly, but the technology in the process of voting and casting the ballot invalidate the voter, render the vote invalid. So how do we make our laws in a way that it creates and allow us to use technology that reduces the possibility of invalid votes May, and making sure people are able to vote easily without, without the possibility of the vote getting wasted. This is not to say that even in advanced democracies, you do not have valid votes. But I will tell you, say, in advanced democracies in other, or in other democracies or in other environments of the world, valid votes, when they do happen, they represent protest votes, where people think their candidates or the issues on the ballot are not issues they vote for. So they, they spoil, but they want to cast a, a ballot. They cast a ballot against all of the issues on the ballot, including all of the individuals on the ballot. People they do in other parts of the world. So there is a process of determining that kind of um, arrangement. By the way, I want to um, thank people for their ongoing patience as we sum up this, as we summarize this. I know it's a long discussion. But we need for sure where the perspective that we are coming from and why we think this kind of a conversation necessary. So having said that, we find out, say, we've been examining this law, this new legislation. So say, is it going to improve 
the quality of democracy? Is it going to improve, uh, in, encourage mass voter participation? Is it going to address the issues that we go make sure that people can participate and, 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 and make sure the technology of voting or hinder, reduce the possibility of vote waste, invalid votes? We find out say, the, the, largely the provisions in this law are not, do not meet largely some of these democratic requirements regarding the best practices of legislation that enhances and facilitates an easy electoral environment. And why do we raise this? Why do we raise this? We raise this because we feel, say, it is the responsibility of parliament for make sure, say, with democracy, with democracy, we call it democracy now. <laughs> That's the With democracy becomes qualitative. Yeah, the quality of democracy should improve over time. And that improvement can be made through voter education, through best practices, borrowing best practices, addressing what has not worked, reviewed what has affected participation, and all of them here. And legislation is one process through which we address the hindrances to uh, the things that we hinder with electoral, the qualitative nature of our democracy, especially when it comes to participatory democracy through electoral, electoral politics. Other aspect of this law, the way we will talk about in terms of proportional representation, how then they go, whether it's, it's beneficial to citizens or it's beneficial to MPs, eh? the question of diaspora voting, whether it's actually reflected or not reflected, and what is the responsibility of parliamentarians who hold this kind of conversation with the African experts don't initiate. We are now, even the honorable that is in this uh, meeting, owe us, a respond, owe us some kind of a, <laughs> a, 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 a how you call that? Mm. A OE force. Uh, Iga Potelwuti OE for make, we organize this kind of meeting where we have uh, over 300 people at least to his disposal. For make you can't tell we how they, how, how they think about it. So I was expecting that this kind of uh, conversation and for them precede even the pre-legislative conversation or after the pre-legislative conversation. By the way, um, I don't receive uh, messages of this uh, Honorable AKK in meeting there across, but he has not raised the questions he raised in, in other areas where he don't go, now AYV or other places. Are, um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. He, he can't tell me that one day. Um, but yes, having said that, looking at the law, we think, say, it provides a restriction or makes it difficult. This law as it is, the bill as it is, if it goes into law as it is, without, with, especially that NIN in this case, we want to limit with discussion here on that particular subject, it get the potential for exclude majority of voters. And we think and believe looking at the developments of the country with NACRA's operation, the greatest number of people who are going to be affected by this law will be people who will likely vote for the opposition in the opposition. Are we online? Because I notice a blank in my own computer. What has happened? Okay. Uh oh Is somebody sharing something? I notice we get... Uh, Yeah, I don't know how that happened either. Oh, maybe somebody did try for the stop we meeting. <laughs> we, so, so basically, um, that we think in our judgment and our assessment of the political landscape of Sierra Leone and this development, what I don't highlight um, the potential for for make voters then become discouraged in regist in registration exist with the provisions of this law with these provisions of this bill if it goes into law as it is. And why we say that, um, if I am an ordinary citizen, way to go drag na, na Abacha Street every morning at the Komo Wellington, I turn up na Wellington for register in the morning and then tell me, say, yes, we know say you're a citizen. If you don't get a birth certificate, Seth, you're a citizen, but you get for provide with NIN for me to register you, then that means you get for go na NACRA for make you get na, for make you go get your, your NIN. Then you, you come over LinkedIn, you get to go about a street or Dove Court or magazine court for go sell. 
you go to Nanakra, you find out Singapore take you one, two hours, maybe during that registration period, 200 people turn up in Nanakra. You go to Tinapri, eh, who's kind of line way long so? What do you go do? You, there is every possibility you will return to, to Abacha Street and decide, say, you go, you go sell. So you, you will not go to, since you are not a candidate, now vote, you want to vote for candidate, you will find that your material interest, you, you daily live in, your money business, it will become much more important to you than for, than for even go, say, I will go to Napna Line and Nakra for go, for go register. You have to be very, very committed and abandon. That, 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 that will be the reality of most people. So why can't we make a law that will make it simple for people to register without necessarily going through those difficulties to register? That is, that is our point. That is the first point. The second point is, suppose now nobody can say they know you. You therefore need a birth certificate for register. Or the electoral officer decides to say, according to the clause 24, that if somebody you get for bring a birth certificate, hmm? we suspect say you suspect say you suspect say this person here, uh, uh, you not satisfy. Say for example, me na full man, I come up and say. Although you na full man, we believe something you na Guinea man or you na Madiguma, you na Soso man. Something this na this na, na Guinea come out. Or na, or na Liberia, you come on. You suppose for sure say you know yourself. Now you need a birth certificate for sure say indeed. You suppose for a register. Now you go na you go na birth and deaths right now. See the go for go take birth certificate. What in birth and death go say? Since the, since it is now an official government policy for me to get an NIN, you go for go na Nakra for go get for go get an NIN for can't get your birth certificate because that's the the procedure. For me, you prove your citizenship. So by the time you come on, you go to Nakra for go to line day and get you your receipt for get your NIN. You, you, you get your NIN and go for go register. I see the honorable, yeah, we'll come to you. We know the picture you want for talk. Oh, you want for talk? Can I say this is the, this is the government meeting, you know. But, but, but the problem <laughs> is, this is this is our own meeting. Hey. There, are, there, are, there are more than a uh, there are more than how many people here who want to who want to also who want to give you the privilege as a honorable member of parliament, but you have the privilege. You get access to to AYV where we may not get access to. We not get, you get access to SLBC where we may not get access to. You get access to 98.2 where we may not get access to. You get access to all the radio stations in Freetown. You get access, no, I'm being honest. Let's admit that. You know, for come heckle we meeting. This is our own meeting that we've organized. We are magnanimous mm. enough for even open them up or make you. You come in, and there are more than a uh, uh, hundred people here. We decide, say, we go for recognize you present because we say you're know, a member of parliament. If you don't take your responsibility for come now, we meet him. We, we don't be respectful enough for, for uh, acknowledge your presence. But please allow me for make we make we case we're done. No matter how long it takes you, you will get the time for respond. <laughs> but this is not a, this is this we decided as Africans before come for close this meeting. And decide say we're not going to even encourage people to kind of resume. But we did it because we want to have a participatory process. Okay. So we open them back to you for make you come. And among all the people within Ayana, you know, you know, the only possible don't call the name. It's not because you are much more significant a citizen than all these other people, but because of the role we they play. You don't understand. So when we make we case as citizens, allow we for make we done, then we, we give you the opportunity for me, you 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 reply. And I'm privileged for we also for talk to you directly. And a privilege to all sort of people within Ayafa talk to. We are happy that you are here. That shows you respect the people in this, in this place. Because none of the other MPs are here. But please, honorable member, allow we make we get the opportunity for express yourself. An opportunity that we don't have right now to do through the radio station, which you have more than we have. You get parliament, you get all the platforms in Sierra Leone to do this. We, all, we, have our, we are trying to build our own platform so we will have an opportunity to talk to you people. So if you have decided to come to our community meeting, let us do the rules. Let us control our meeting. I hope say, I not offend you by that statement. If I offend you, I apologize. But I just want to make sure that we do not appear as if we are preventing you from, from saying something. We just want to be respectful and also to be respected as our citizens here <laughs> in our own process. I apologize if you feel, if you feel offended by that. Um, but take, don't, take, don't take the opportunity we've given you for granted. 
because we do not have this opportunity right now. You can you can walk to AY. You were on AYV. You were on AYV the other day. You talked about the elections in Tonkolili. I was with. I, I watched you. I was patiently hoping you would talk about the elections act. You never did. You also not talk about the all the conversation about Oyeri. Oh no, I'm no, I'm just saying. So that opportunity I don't have. It's an opportunity you take for granted that you can be invited to national radio stations in Sierra Leone. As a citizen, I don't have that that right. They don't give me that opportunity, including, I, in fact, I, I want you now for take up that responsibility, ask uh, SLBC as a public broadcaster why they have refused to even hear the interview. They interviewed me because of your responsibility. So I want you to note that it's a concern coming, and I will want these people in this forum who are in this meeting to, to uh, make a call to you so you can make a call publicly to SLBC why they have they've conducted an interview with me in response to my work that they discussed and they refuse to to publish it and as a mp you get the right for do that for me by the way i also want to commend you because over the past two years you have been one of the only mps or one of the few mps who have stood in the well of parliament and asked that the africanist press publications should be discussed or factored into the debates in parliament and and that is something we have noted so we were also in saying that we also want to recognize that role that you play, which is no small thing in a, in a parliament like that, where there is hostile debate. Anyway, sorry, I don't. I think I don't knock the MP here. He pass back. Oh, how does yeah? People's power. Don't knock him back. He can make so power. I think they make power. But we don't that. I don't think we know how the catcher. We know how the catcher. We know how the catcher. Okay, channel um. A couple of things. First of all, there are some questions. Yeah. But uh, one thing we uh, not clear to me. Uh, hopefully, you will make it clear. Uh, maybe some people can get similar uh, issue. Now, the national identification number and the two-sided way they the 2022 bill is still not clear to me because the first one, it clearly they say you must have these things. But then in the second mention, they talk. They talk about they give either or these. And they give options. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, that this make a thing say a very good way we get honourable AKK Naya. That are one of the things that we ask the question if we move from his seat, we um, you know ask the question again. Yeah. So uh, basically, the national education. Uh, Just make your hands up in the area. Okay, good. It don't vex by you. Uh, I don't vex by me. <laughs> that the only opportunity no. to move, that the only opportunity we get for give for give the MP the public hammer at the head. <laughs> so, we they have so good, it feels so they good. Have good have my own WhatsApp. You don't say I don't know for room. They have my own. Okay. Uh, AK, honorable AKK, the question where they ask that the question why they asked now the difference between the two. Please, honorable, note that one day. Note the, the, the question he's asking. The, the national identification number is mentioned twice, only twice in the bill. Uh, we don't talk about the two areas then. But the first one is a little different because can you mandates? You see, you get for getter. And uh, they put the national education number of force. Um, and then in the second one, they make a more of an option, either or. So at that moment, say waste what you get for proof, uh, proof you claim, you can you get options. But for the registration itself, you have those four things, and then you have four other things in the in, in the bill. So what's the difference between them two and this? Uh, I guess if we we'll, we'll mute you, uh, so you can unmute yourself now, can you? Oh. Any other question, Dave? Yes, there are other questions, but it is now. Okay, now so you may answer that day first, yeah. yeah. Because, honorable, if you get any other preface, now we want preface regarding um, the law, we don't give you I, I will, I, 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 I will surely. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Um, as I tell you, I type this in the group, I just parked by the roadside, and for I, I, I talked to Ona on this issue. Mm -hmm. Are they right snacking? So Mindu Mindu Street and that park so. <laughs> and I just lent table and chair. You see now phone and lens for lights for myself. So I the free, let me phone not go off before I drive, go home. Oh. I make everybody say time, time, time. Not to say I want to rush you. I just I, I get patient for listening to this. And by the way, I know they talk to you because I am just a member of parliament, but I talk to you in the capacity of one of the uh, mouthpiece and the PROs of the opposition members of parliament and the one where they lead this consortium for educate people on this electoral bill. Um, firstly, 
I don't hear you over and again. You say members of parliament come with a bill. Well, I need for land for me better. I know you are an educated scholar and an a shatter. One thing we know now, as members of parliament, you were privy to have the document before Monday. As members of parliament, we only preview for get this document on Monday and doing the privilege. We receive on Monday, the count on our parliament, Tuesday for a debate. Our position was clear and sincere. I also remember on the very day when they get the privilege, I sent you the copy, the, the link of the privilege. And I shared it with all the um, Sierra Leoneans who I believe say, always, always interested in national issues, even when they're not in a salon. And I remember I also say, when I send you the documents, I say, if there are issues in this bill, you think it's important for us to discuss as opposition MPs, as Sierra Leoneans, our doors are open to have those conversations. After prefacing that, when we don't have the privilege, when the, the Maui they present, Patoma present, and say, we, they use NIN number in this. If you listen to the response of the NP, where I will post again on my Facebook today, I will send the same, I will share them on my Facebook page, you are sent to you. All the MPs in the room agree for say, the NIN number is a non-starter. All the MPs. By the way, we are not responsible to draft laws. And on our delegated legislations, these are delegated legislations sent to parliament by institutions. And that the Attorney General and Minister of Justice are in the pilot case bill. So it comes with an parliament, they explain their own way. After they explain them, we tell them say, we cannot debate this bill on Tuesday. And on the day of the prelude, that the leader of the opposition asks, say, can we have a soft copy of this? And they also say categorically clear, and I say, before that Monday, the leader of the opposition has never seen a soft copy of this bill. So we get a soft copy of this bill on Tuesday. And we say we need to let people know about them. One as passed away, I don't know if people cast over and again is, if we wanted to sell out, this bill was with us on Tuesday. We would have debated it and passed it into law with ease. But we choose for say, we need to popularize this bill and other people them and other political parties within our parliament, C4C, NGC, we need to come together as a consortium for get one position. At that point, we come together and we begin all series of meetings with them. I also remember I tell you say, as political parties, when this thing initially come out, there was an assurance given to smaller political parties say, with this, the party then will be stronger because proportional representation will help younger parties. So in that relation, we had issues trying to have the other political parties to understand whatever good for them, SLP, you know, whoever presents in the bill. So we had back and forth meetings in COP until we reach, I also want to get onto um, Mami Femi, you will say this to you. We also come together and agree, say, as a consortium, we need to work together. That is when we take the first step. Like the local government, when we had issues with government over the local government, actually, we, we involve international partners behind the scene. We wrote letters, we get engagement with them. In this bill also, we also go out and we wrote letters to international communities and partners. And those letters we are delivered to those embassies by us, members of parliament, of all political, or all the three political parties in parliament within a COP. After we deliver the letters, then they, on Tuesday, we can now well for can debate. On that very Tuesday, now they deliver the letters then. But I also don't emphasize that we cannot be members of parliament at the same time we are the journalists. When you talk, say you go over um, 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 and, uh, SLBC and do the interview, on that day, they deliver the letters. We are with SLBC, AYB, M, 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 98.1. We know you're to it in the either. But we deliver the letters anyway. We move from that point. We came on Tuesday. We told the speaker, we, we, said that we cannot debate this bill. Because this bill, we just receive them as members of parliament. And this is a public election act bill. So the people are interested to have their say in this. The speaker continued for saying, no, the debates are gone. We leader and the other leaders of the opposition say, 
okay, we still need time. If you are debating today, let this debate not done today. Let we get a second debate, a third debate, for let we involve the, the, the ideas of the people. Therefore, then debate the first day. We agree, we listen to them, tell the debate's done. And we decided to say, okay, as members of parliament, after we don't talk to the international community, we need to engage the people. Not because anybody writes. No. We take a toll. We went to Kailau. We went to Kono. We engaged Kenima. We took um, 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 Maguruka coming down until yesterday. We finally reached um, um, Makini. Along the same time where they do this thing, I also want you understand, say, the PPRC bill was also presented on the same day with this electoral act, but it was poorly presented and issues away then be able, where they raised it from the village, where also now that very possible we say um, we make the return um, and go do a reprint of the PPRC amendments then. So they brought it again to us. So as we wait for this electoral bill, we also get this PPRC act where they amend. When we take the, the view to the people, we continuously share the link to other people they do radio programs, live meetings with the interview people, then we they share with you and other Sierra Leoneans across the country. We they also share with the international community. For me, that was our job also to ensure say we popularize this. When you go to a radio station, let's say this I'm going on um, AYV, I don't determine what is in their plate. I am invited to discuss the results and the outcome of the by-elections now um, Tonkolili. I'm not going to left that one day, I'm begin to talk about an electoral act. No, I, I don't have that question that they ask me, just like what they are. I'm not going to there now, I begin to talk about Leon Star, how Leon Star win the game or why they don't win the game. No, that's not why I'm here. After we don't do all of that process, we return back Naton today, and because the debate for continue, and we read 108 of the Constitution, you know they amend a constitutional provision in a bill without, you know, don't deal with the provision itself, not the Constitution. So what we can say, the first thing we do, we raise the issue of the laws where they, like one, the date of presidency, the time for presidency is entrenched in the Constitution, the process then the way for use. But this new law, they say, we for change them, now we will get a fixed date. If you are having a fixed date, one thing we need to know is, it they contravene what in the Constitution say. If you say we'll get 30% seats, it also they contravene what in the Constitution say. Therefore, our position today was, we need to forget the Constitution amendments in force. We need two-third majority, two out, who's had the alter the Constitution before we can look at the bill. We spent over an hour some just on that issue. Finally, they say no, the debate for gone. We still ask for another time because the leader of government business say then they come with the amendments that we have to do with the constitution by Tuesday. So we as a opposition parties are saying, until we deal with the constitutional inst um, um, instruments, we have to deal with all the amendments that we have to do with this act. We will not continue to debate this act. So we pause that today. Then, then, in then given time, still there are sure we are having another time for this debate. Meaning, we are still in the second reading of the bill. When are the debate stage? Let me let me just ask a question. Sorry. Why? 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 Thank you. Well, Thank well, you very much for um, explaining the this process when I don't go to on my own effort. Um, the purpose of the intervention, I, I, I keep repeating, is the fact that it, we understand the responsibility of parliament is to make good laws, as, as we say. That is, that is what we want. So uh, in your presentation, you already talked, say, the NIM is a non-starter, right? No, let, 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 let me come no, no. Black Lamb, Black Lamb, Let me... No, is, I, so, you will get time okay. for, for address why I just finished my question. Okay, the NIM, 
you're not you're not even holy you're not class you're not class you're making it you're making it funny okay continue talk before i ask me question a blacker when we go na committee um one i know i'm a holy lip now yeah when we continue when we go na committee um one and they mention yeah. the nin number uh-huh. all the factors we don't we don't raise around the naka i see the type of emphasize that it affected the north more than the southeast but even the MPs will come myself. You get the, the, the link. If you show the link now, you will see everybody will respond to that with the, all the MPs vehemently condemn the NIN number. Because one of the things will be happening in that station, not just the faulty machine, the time allocated to regions was just 10 days. In 10 days, you know, they already start picking where they below 18 years, um, um, the voters and non citizens in 10 days. So therefore, the entire process itself was questioned across the board. This is now one of the three happened. But I want to address the NIN after I don't lay me premises. You give me opportunity for lay premise. Do you allow to do one? Okay. Now, after we don't really speak today, we don't say, as a parliament for procedural issues, there is no way, no parliament in the world can do a bill where they amend constitution without first of all amending the constitution itself. So who's are we there as opposition MPs? Who's are we all? Who's are we get right? Now the fact say we will refer the constitution, we will refer back to the constitution and get an instrument for dealing with the constitution. Now we all don't agree as a parliament. The leader of government business say they count them provisions and they will get for affect the constitution. Also, it's a lot of the people that know. What the SLP do in this bill? When they get for deal with the issues that we get for do with the amendment, they're not put it in the bill except for like the presidential date, the thirty percent are in the inside the bill. The other one, then then they inside the PowerPoint presentation what they do. So when you did come for candidate and say this is a constitutional instrument, they ask where is it in the bill? So technically, as lawmakers, we understand say that was criminal itself by the ECSL. So they're not a the opportunity for saying at the bill. But it didn't have the PowerPoint, so you cannot challenge it on the PowerPoint because the PowerPoint is not the legislation. Okay, so let we... me let me ask this. Make a make a make a ask this uh, question. You don't already you don't already highlight the process that I don't take. Okay, for educate people that in you in you narration because we no go. We also get for control we meet it. You don't, <laughs> you don't understand, so you don't highlight already. The process one I don't use for taking the law to the people with, with the tour all side because as far as me they see do the links where you send now the, I see you don't go at the provincial part we never ever see a major discussion on this law to the public and thank God we get people and I are you know apart from no no no, no let me let me start is what I'm what no, I, I, just say, I just say breathe out I just say breathe yeah, out yeah it good, it good it's good it's not an argument it's it's, it's, it's a, no we. <laughs> Let me, it's not an argument. I'm just stating. No, to you. it will never be. Uh huh. It's just. It's just. I'm just stating to you exactly what we have observed, and this could be also the voices of other people. We we we, we them, you know watch. As far as this legislation is concerned, you went if if you the claim say will not be know about the law until during the pre-legislative meeting soon I get. Okay, you will not go across. The, the the country for going to talk about her. You you when I don't do the pre-legislative arrangement, I don't do the first reading. You are only why is it that only today when I raise the unconstitutional aspect of the proceed of the procedures? That's one. You don't understand. So regarding whether when I when I hold this law and I, I, I accept the I accept the ex- explanation. For me, our intention here is to make sure parliament or parliamentarians do not pass a law that will affect citizens' ability to participate in the electoral process. As long as we get that guarantee from parliamentarians, our issue, we, we, we have no issue with that. You, you, you understand? The reason why we had to intervene and highlight because we knew a law has been taken to parliament and parliamentarians, nobody in other parts, in other democracies, what parliamentarians do, they hold a press conference. From the day of the legislative discussion, they hold a, a major press conference in which they highlight other politicians in other countries, including Africa, not America, no matter, I tell you, politicians that we know. And if, I'm, if I am in your position, what I will do, if I represent people, when the legislation don't come, that has so much 
that I think is not is a non-starter, including an NIN. The first thing what they do, I go I go hold a press conference, a major press conference for that matter, and somebody like you will respond for yourself and tell tell the audience, tell the public, go to Facebook link or we are going to a small radio station, Akono or Makeni or other, or Kailanu. I will hold a major press conference in the capital city of Freetown, invite major radio stations, and tell them we have received a bill that has this and this, the NIN and all of these other provisions, including the fact that it was not brought to parliament through the proper procedures. Okay, that's what that's what politicians in Zimbabwe, in Kenya, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in other in other democracies, that's what they do. They want their they want their people to know that this is this is the progress. This is the process. That's what parliamentarians do. So I'm not saying be a journalist and go around and uh, make news. No, your responsibility as, as an MP, as far as I know, that will inform me as a citizen what is going on in parliament, what parliament has brought. What if you say parliament not be aware of the legislative, the drafting of the process, parliament and MPs were unaware. We all know that this is not a private member motion. It's not a private member bill, okay? It's not something that a private member, even when private members develop, they, they do it in consultation with others. And, and, and so we may see again a, a legislation, like for example, the welfare bill. We had this argument first back and forth. People said it, it was leaked, that it was not, some people claimed it. No, I don't say, now the discussion will be airy. The reason why, why, why some of these in conversation, why these things become an issue is because, is because our parliamentarians, and thank God you're here, have, do not inform the people, okay, of some of these things. We, I, 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 I don't think it is the, it is, we have to come to a situation where our citizens will have to ask parliamentarians what is going on in parliament. So I, I think, say, for the mobilization where you go around or the sensitization campaign that you've taken in the provinces, as you've highlighted, I am surprised that you did not think about doing it in Freetown first, calling, for example, calling a parliamentary press conference where this thing will have been announced, including highlighting the X, Y, and Z provisions that you think not comply with the constitutional procedures. And from the legislative, from the date of the legislative time to now, no, we have the right to interrogate you as an MP because this is our own meeting. You came to our meeting. And since you've come to our I, meeting- I, I, I agree and we appreciate. I'm yeah, I'm only the big that you give me small. Okay. <laughs> was it day. So me phone, me phone now street a day and me and not get well, a okay. in, there. Well, when I don't make you now, you see that mark now other thing because it, it has to do with uh, the availability of services that parliament is, is also. No, not not not. <laughs> and, and I drive and they drive and I okay. Okay. okay, make a no, make a complete my point. So Let me just complete my point. Thank that, you, sir. That we appreciate this premise where you don't lay force in terms of the meeting, the efforts that parliament has done. And the fact that we are not being know about this bill, they surprise you with the bill. That the fact that me as a journalist had an, had a copy of the bill before it was taken to legislative, that's my business. I get access to to things. It's the nature of my job. Okay. So if you the MP say I had that access and you in Sweden do not have that access, I will. I, I I pride myself that I can have that access. The second yeah. The second thing is the fact that for the sake of the conversation. I am surprised that as an MP or members of parliament, when you were given this legislation that, you, that you've highlighted, have all these things, you did not hold a public conversation, for example, a press conference, which I know other MPs will do to inform the press, because that is one okay. of the avenues you do to inform the press <laughs> about that. But instead you said you took letters before his point. You took letters to all of these uh, uh, things. And the constitutional question, what, that's what I wanted to raise. The constitutional question, in fact, these nine questions have sent to me by, by, by a viewer, where he said, Mika, ask you this question. Why, will, why did you take the law to the, why should they, you know, why should they take the law to the people with the tour you've just highlighted if it was actually unconstitutional in the first place? The, the process was con unconstitutional. Why did you not spend the time highlighting? Hold on, hold on. Let me just finish. You will have time to respond. We'll give you time for respond. We know, we know, we know to Abbas Bundu. <laughs> yeah, we, we, this, is a, this is a people's conversation. We won't forget clarity. So why did you not spend that time 
highlighting to the people before uh, yesterday, before today. And if I, if I remember in, in the proceedings today that I saw in parliament, Honorable Gevao, for example, had to put it that um, we have not come up with the issues that you, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just trying to say that, you know, I'm reading to the questions coming to me from, 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 from audiences that we, we no able to ask you this question now. This is sent to me directly. You, the, this person is saying, you should have spent that time highlighting to the people before yesterday why the bill was not going to be debated. Okay? But it appeared, according to the schedule and the communication from Parliament, it was scheduled to be debated today. And the constitutional question or the legislative procedures regarding the question only emerged today. In fact, if I remember, I saw a tweet from one of one one of uh, I think it was a tweet from 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 JFK who had raised the question of the fact that the procedure for presenting the bill itself has not been complied with. So all of the discussions from the pre-legislation to the first reading to where you are at second reading when these issues have been raised, your audience just got to learn about it, including the fact that. Um, there has not been a major um, public announcement from MPs regarding um, what is in this bill and why we should not be anxious about it, and including the fact that some of the provisions we have raised with NIN is a non-starter or all of all of the all of the other, other above issues. We have not, by the way, I just want to preface the fact that we are just limiting our concerns to NIN. We get other concerns with, with this bill that we've not, because if we still spend them, we don't go go. So that that make, we will appeal to you not know, to take us to question of proportional representation all of because we get our own interpretation and our own implications we will fear with proportional representation. So we just want to limit our conversation to the aspect of the, of the conversation we don't say. But we appreciate you highlighting the efforts that you've made as a member of parliament and, and the PR posting for, for the opposition members of parliament as, as you lay them out. So I just want to point this out to you before I forget. In, I don't know if, you, if you, uh, uh, Mr. Masali gets other questions in the chat that people want to post, post to the MP before his phone goes off. So you're on mute. Is he going to say something? You're on mute. Okay, unmute so yourself. Okay. Oh, let me give you. Abdul. Okay, 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 good. Um, I, I'm glad he, um, with the conversation. I really, really don't glad with the conversation. And at least we're making much, um, much, much more progress um, as Sierra Unions. What is more important in this conversation is that the conversation is for all of us as Sierra Unions. No, I'm um, fortunate for the on my own platform. So why did you take the the, the the, the debates to the provinces where you know say a faulty already. Also, let we not say not to every aspect of the bill get constitutional provisions where they need for amend. Like the PI way, the immense judicial way, we all know, are not things we're ready for talk about under this conversation. They not get that issue because Indian are constitution already. So they not get that problem. The, the problem we in get na interpretation of that section, I didn't have the constitution if it's applicable now. So you cannot say because that one they're not faulty. Other issues in the way faulty, you know, for flag the issue way faulty. I also glad that it they mentioned the issue of the NIN. Um, I don't start initially say when they introduce them, the Maui talk about the NIN, now the room. Mind you, privilege is not part of um, um, the, the lawmaking process. It starts from um, 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 the first stage. The second stage, now the MPs that they get people talk. A critical bill of this nature cannot be read in a day if you say it for the very first time. I also let the a reputation way chairman of the make say if now we the claim, we know the claim, we know that nothing will protect Naya and Parliament of a secret society. If you not believe that the first time we ever see the document, I know you are a perfect shatter. Research all over the world until we say, no, at so 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 point, when we don't see this document. 
and a sensitive document of this nature. I am sure not to me one no more. In several agree say he received this document from over six, uh, five MPs. It show how important MP take a role in bringing out issues of national concern. And I think when I pour this message to him, I asked more than five times that we ask other people him. Again, no, we accept say members of parliament are not perfect in everything. Therefore, as members of parliament, we also have up on the public. People were witty enough. People were get the ideas where they progress we work, including um, um, lawyers. We forward this thing to them, forget them say. And those people are also experts, but they are also very busy. I know they expect if I send something, for example, to uh, um, the legal team of the APC on Monday, and on Tuesday, when the soft copy come out, I will even get them back by Wednesday, Thursday. No, people will have to bring their ideas on board. Why we late? We're not late. The second stage is second stage of uh, the bill reading up your argument for sure. Say this thing not get. Only you know say we're not late. Only you know say we are still procedural. What we do and today, the leader of government business say, okay, yes, this is true. We go discontinue this debate, we will continue this debate, but we go carry the instruments, the constitutional instruments in the form of a bill for amendment by Tuesday. For me, that is a big gain. For we all, where they try to address issues, we're going to do with on, on constitutionality. Now we lost the way they make. I also don't say this to um channel in private in groups, and I'll say it again today publicly. The role we channel they play in recovering democracy, in the fight against corruption, in only leaders accountable, is unprecedented. So for we, where they raise issues, we get for do lawmaking, issues we get for do with the current state of the country, like how we did so in lawmaking, for us it's an opportunity. Because when they raise the issues, then, anytime we raise issue, we go again, we read over the issues and they ask critical minds again, like I'm, for say this is what has come up. No, by the way, not to share on the model race issues around this bill and this NIN. Again, I not forget this NIN. Not, not forget say the first way it surfaced that we body politics. Now, when the NACRA boss a year ago wrote a letter to Parliament to NEC saying, "Net forget the data from the N and the NCI registration," and we come as members of Parliament. Members, we wrote a letter again. So NICRA say it is not their business. They're not a part of the registration of voters. So we don't begin lock that gates there from the first way they talk about. When China they talk about is being worried, we are more worried because the moment we don't lock because of illegality. Now in this law, where they before we as members of parliament, they try for open Corneli for let them get a floodgate of and the NCIA registration into the, the, the voter list. It is impossible. I want to use the word that word me panic to use. It is impossible. It's not possible and it cannot. So the, the truth about it is we are in this together. If then deprive voters for votes, now me as member of parliament to the contest, it affects me first. Now me constituency. It affects me first. Now the constituency. It affects the chances of me or political party for win an election for God's sake. I am sure. I am sure that the APC will win the next election. Therefore, what's not the reason for sell? Who do they sell to? Who do they buy? Who buys this thing? Who do they sell to? We are committed as opposition MPs. Yes, there are challenges in the bill. That is why we the big Sierra Leoneans across the world. I am always accessible. Nami WhatsApp, Nami. Unfortunately, oh, okay. The MPD, I didn't, I didn't find that. You see, we get low power. But well, that's a, a, a good image <laughs> of him there. Okay. I don't know if he, okay. He never oh. answered the question, really, between the two NINs. Yeah. Anyways, I think we'll come back. But, um, Maybe. I see we get two hands raised. Usman, Temu, Kamara, been on the raising hand for some time. All, all meeting long. I forget yes. on the floor. Yeah, more again, the opportunity for say something. 
but we have many comments and questions in the thing too. Yeah, maybe we chat. allow short comment from them, then from there we go. Um, I hope the MP will come back. But before we get to this guy, uh, uh, the MP at least he give me some assurance. He didn't totally yeah. there against that. No, Although, so the essence, the essence of this meeting, at least we don't hear it from the MPC. The questions we don't raise regarding NIN, they are not out of place. Mm -hmm. And one thing we don't take away from from this we don't learn from this uh, conversation. But we need this. We need the MP for make this kind of conversation, this kind of commitment and statement, the MPs need to make that kind of statement publicly so the people that know that and up on the bill. So that is the concern. Apart from what he has narrated here, we not get any, in fact, if you look the chart inside this meeting, inside uh, some of the things, people have never had that kind of a uh, statement that then said or reject the NIN. We never hear that. What we don't hear in the conversation regarding the bill, not just the proportional representation aspect. And in the second conversation, we're going to talk about the implication of the, of the proportional representation. And again, the MP claims say, or say, <laughs> that the first time they see the bill on, on, on Monday. And since Monday to the time we raised the constitutional issues regarding the, the, the constitutional um, Procedures with the, uh, the lack of constitutionality in the, in, in, the, in the process was today. After all of these um, discussions, we don't make regarding why the MPs have remained silent on the bill since they received one on Monday. And it's so interesting that people were in charge of making the law. Um, we will read the law before them. We will read and, and raise these questions before um, they do. And we'll continue. The, and at the essence of this conversation, and we are so happy that we have the MP We they talk for, they say they talk on behalf of the members of parliament, the official members of parliament, which means we have on record a committed statement from the members of parliament that the NIN is not going to make it as part of the final legislation. So basically, if they object to anything inside the bill, then one of the things then, what we expect, say, the law is not supposed to make. So in the next, uh, that 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 not a very good uh, statement. We may want for um, commend and for can tell with that because that is that is one of our main cons one of our major concerns that the law in itself the, the inclusion of the NIN and we write for raise that particular issue we don't flag them say it's a is a a voter it will, it will hinder people and for register. So now in don't tell we say it's not going to be part of the elect electoral arrangement. But at the same time, we got for now pay attention for make sure, say, by the time the, the, the law becomes the law, that particular provision is not part of the election law. So the MP don't say, then we stand up against and So we look forward to the debate for C. And, and not only that, he also tells us even the SLPP MPs are against it. So the question for we, what are the thinking? What was the intention of including such a provision in the law if it is a hindrance to everybody? A hindrance to democratic participation. Okay, the MP, they join way back. Votes are suppression. Yeah. Another aspect of it. Honorable, you don't come? I don't admit him, but I don't see him yet. So, um, that, I don't know whether there are questions again. Why would they wait for the MP for? Well, then they, I mean, if they give somebody the, the, the mic, actually. Yeah, I don't see say don't go away. Uh, Ibrahim, <laughs> I don't have food. I see an Ibrahim Kuruma now. Okay. By the way, one for one for say we are averaging over 400 um, or 300 people, nearly 400 people online, and we want to recognize the the platform and the support that Seracast TV has given us. Um, and this is a very wonderful opportunity because we would not have been able to hold. This conversation, apart from the people online, the people where they watch we now, we're able to connect to we Zoom. So basically, able to get access to we through uh, Seracast TV, and we hope for continue this dialogue series, incorporating or using this platform. So one for thank Seraca, the management of Seracast TV, and the wonderful uh, opportunity we then give you for make use of them of them um, facilities. 
Okay, I think we get Ibrahim. Lawyer, you did it. You ready? Yes, my dear. Okay, so carry on. Thank make you. Make I use Alpha uh, Abbas Bundy statement. Carry on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, you want for make a, you want for make intervention in the discussion. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I think I'll not be the follow Ali and I just now see the link this afternoon. I see the link. And uh, first of all, for organizing this discussion, um, I want for particularly appreciate the efforts. This is very good. I think I think say we need this kind of uh discussion and this kind of initiative go help people them both at home and the other people away there abroad will not get the opportunity for be hard on subject matter like uh, this one. And I just want to make a few comments about things that we are aware of based on the topic um, on the review. Um, so first of all, uh, I know you much of the last speaker in position, but I think he may have uh, touched on the, some of the things then because nothing that we concern the law, where me basically want to focus on. Uh, and I know say the last speaker is a member of parliament and are one of the young um, active members of, of the current parliament. We are they doing your role, and I think say we appreciate them for, for what they do. Um, I also want for state for the record, say, um, me in a one person way, um, I don't do work with the parliament in my own way, um, not directly through what they do, but through some caucus and other people in, uh, in terms of providing um, expert advice where necessary, but also uh, discussing uh, national issues, one of which is this uh, particular draft legislation. Now, it came to me on Tuesday, and we came to me on Tuesday with com for comments. And one of my initial reaction um, of this particular legislation, now that no, no member of parliament within which around them for support a legislation of this kind. Because one, in my own view, now a legislation where crafted in language where now for basically disenfranchised people, it crafted in language where now for empower few sets of people within the community of, of the election management bodies, forget the authority for disqualified people eh, in their own wisdom, within them things say necessary for be done. It crafted in such a way that he empower other few people eh, for exercise powers, where now powers where only law, now if for determine, would have for empowered, would have for exercise their power. Then the, the, the law for prohibits anybody where they contest an election, forget their power. Then they, for example, the president get power under this law for do certain things. Then they way if they contest an election, you know, forget rights for do them. So I make comments generally say the thing that they don't put inside it, time not go there for going into the details, but in summary, the thing that they put inside this law, one. They will not have the time to look at it and make meaningful contribution because in my the information I gathered from Parliament now that the law was done without their contribution, it was not introduced to them. The idea was not discussed in Parliament. So, in other words, that they not been get full knowledge. That is the the, the information I got. And so, therefore, I say, my own, my own small advice: don't discuss it, don't even start it, because the, the, the things that were involved in a law like this, then plenty, apart from just the law itself, the draft law itself. For example, the draft law gets provisions where they tamper with the existing constitution. I say so, therefore, it need time for make parliament discuss, before they look at this particular draft, parliament need for discuss the constitution itself, whether mm -hmm then get the authority. Because the, even though the constitution may be amended, any other law may be amended by parliament, because a parliament may become. But there are certain provisions in the constitution where parliament says they have not the right to amend. Now, everybody in a saloon, 
get right and power for men. So I say, when I get for look at whether they affect the, the, this, this provision, this whole 70 something page, when I get for read them, access, assess them word by word and make sure say the meaning of each word, when I interpret them accordingly and make sure say they don't touch on anything when I not get power for deal with. And so you cannot do that we didn't just introduce the bill to you, then give you just today. You, can, you cannot do, Mr. Say, when I be lawyer, me a lawyer, I'm not able for, for read. I just browse and through. Inside the first 20 minutes where I take the pages, as I know say this is not, this not problem law. <laughs> so I state my position clear. Mm -hmm. But the, there are certain important things that I want to mention. <laughs> now, over the last couple of years, the last two, two and a half years, the government don't take a position for deliberately interfere with electoral, electoral processes. Okay. And in my own view, I don't state this in writing, I don't state them in my tweets, and I don't state them also in my discussions with people them way they deal with law. So for example, there were attempts by the government for do an amalgamation of processes between the NCRA, the National Commission for Civil Registration, and NEC or now what they call Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone. So what do you mean by that? One institution, they only get right and power for register civil transactions. For example, Ibon Pekin, you register some businesses, somebody come out, somebody can say today, you, not only they're responsible for, not the NCRA the responsibility. So the other institution, when our Electoral Commission, now then get exclusive rights and authority for conduct elections. So anything related to elections, now then no more the law give power. So how can you then come and try to bring them to institution and they for work together? So those steps were initially taken and some of we make bold for saying no government cannot do this. And we, we discuss with people them where matter in the process of lawmaking say, you cannot entertain or tolerate this kind of thing to happen. So, and I think, say, at that time, government may retract a little bit and hopefully maybe feel, say, um, they will not come back to it. So, but what they're doing to this law, now for do the same thing, attempt for do the same thing, for put the institution and they together. Now, it they violate the constitution, again, I raise this with parliamentarians. If I entertain them, when I don't already they try to do something where unconstitutional, and parliament cannot be seen to be doing something where they're against the constitution. But there is something very tricky now, uh, under the constitution where give parliament certain rights as to where, where to make people and for challenge them for do what they do. For example, if parliament adopts a procedure now, even though it's against the constitution, you not get as a citizen, you not get the right for challenge and say, then they do something procedurally way wrong for violating the constitution. So in other words, that the parliament can set their own processes and procedures and nobody not get right for, 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 for challenge them. I say, but however, as parliamentarians, if we not raise them, then it becomes something where the government cannot move on until they set the, the rectifier. So many things say this kind of discussion and especially with parliament, parliamentarian come, come on, not very good thing. But also as citizens, we get responsibility for engaging members of parliament. Some of we don't engage members of parliament directly. And we don't engage the leadership of parliament also directly and raise concerns. And we continue for residents concerned and then, and we continue for doing. But one more thing they were want to mention before I come to really, really waiting, I think say, we as Sierra Leoneans are citizens for the do. Now, you go on for ask the question, why would government, including parliament, go on for do a law at this material time where go tamper with people them, right, for vote freely in the manner in which they don't use for vote or register for votes for the last, how many years we don't get democracy? I mean, multi-party democracy in our country. Why would I want to do a few months to elections? That is a question that every citizen for asking member of parliament. Why would I want to do one? 
if they not get the answer, then we, we for as citizens for insist say, don't change our electoral laws. We want and so until we are satisfied, we say this is something that is good for us and we understand them, we would not support it. And I think that any member of parliament will not listen to in constituents then and go ahead and support an amendment of electoral laws few months to elections where people are not going to get an opportunity for understanding. That kind of member of parliament, you have to vote him out. But, but there's now a trick in that as well. In this draft, long as him say, they proceed. They're not listening to nobody. Nobody then go okay. and pass this kind of law. Mr. Kuruma, thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, those are valid, valid uh, points. We, we appreciate the, the legal perspective added to the, to the discussion. I think so you, don't, you don't enrich the, the conversation very well. So um, we will come back to you. Please stay, 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 stay. Make, we just want to make the, the MPB to make um, honorable AKK did it now, no so? Okay, good. Um, yes. You, 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 you mean to finish up when, when the phone go? You want for you want for continue that side and add a few things because one girl that people again the opportunity for say, say a few things in addition, and also for ask you. But this but this but this is the thing. The I just for me own for me own clarity and perhaps for the clarity of others. I just want to make you re, restate what you just said regarding the NIN. Um, Position of uh, position of the opposition, and since you say you talk, you are not talking for yourself, just as an individual, but others, including what you've you've said regarding the non-starter. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? That the the NIN, if the bill proceeds as it is, it becomes law. You think or you believe it's not going to be part of the part of the provisions of the final final legislation, right? Because I don't know if you hear, you don't hear me. Hello, he's on mute. Oh, 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 sorry. Yes, go ahead. Go. You know, you're in the I question. I get it clearly. Okay. Um, first of all, I use, I use also this platform for thank Abraham Sorry. Um, sometimes we know they want to mention um, people um, where they help with legally on some of the entire security in the outline. It tells you, say, there are certain areas of this bill where you get for do constitutional amendments. I think that's what I said earlier on today, say. If you ever do constitutional agreement uh, then we not venture into until we do the amendment of the constitution. I also tell you this to say this issue of NIN not starts today. And I worried on the fact from long before now. It also tells you we don't provide a solution to parliament, say we not for allow NACA forget anything for do around we um electionary process because NACA not get anything for do with elections. I will also tomorrow personally forward the letter to you what we'll be doing to NACA. So this issue of NIN number, not to today, it starts. Now, part of the SLP the game plan, we we'll don't fit from where they initially started to now. So for we, when I, I still letter you and you still have the tape with you, on the first day of the privilege, where they talk about um, NIN number, I say unanimously all the MPs in the room grumble about them um, and talk about them um, and show me and, and express uh, the NIN number not for be a reason for stop people from registering. However, now two when we see the NIN number, when you talk additional, I follow you carefully. One, now the process of registration. Secondly, now the register. When you are in the process of registration, there is an option if you don't get NIN. But when you are the issue of um, um, the registration, the database, instantly they talk about you forget NIN. So these are the two differences where myself worried about as a member of parliament. Because it's possible that they will allow people to go register without the NIN. But when they harvest from the registration for can get the voters list, they will only consider the people who get NIN for the voters. I think that now what you share together. So in that situation where it does on the, on the, on the, on the bill, we are as members of parliament who look out for the best possible option where the NIN not going to be anything where they alter somebody for register or for stop and for vote. Don't forget, we don't have the field, we don't see situation the way people they go for go register and say, okay, even for vote. Say, I don't lost the member, the voters ID card. They say, can't four o'clock, they go again. So anything where go cost, we vote, one vote. As opposition MP, we determine 
for we move with people and from this current situation where we, we people and find themselves, we go do everything within we powers for ensure say not no day we go disenfranchise with people. Disenfranchising voters mean the members of parliament not they get as strong as into elections. How do I talk about winning an election when the people in my village not be registered at NIN, they are not be get NIN now, they know they register and no go vote for me. How I go win that election day? So this is a topical issue and it's a painful issue to we. We don't emphasize this before now, say, one of the rigging tactics so SFPP don't try to put in place long before now, almost two years ago. When they also, not all statistics, some of them is the people they then clear the entire um, um, NCIA. Then clear all my way be did and bring their own people. If you do an analysis of the people of the open and now, you will find us in a one tribe, nine dominates me. Channel and the, the viewers, we are not uh, drunks, we are not mad people. I get this proper work is a party me. Where Chuck man, where Chris man Chuck, if they have fool. Because it, 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 not just it just will be deliberate, <laughs> and not even know it, they do their chuck back. If we sit down, we allow this bill as it is so. He go to him, he said, we are drunk, we are mad people. Hey, we, come on. How big go play with Ayata Poison that I go put her inside me own food I get for it. Allowing this bill as it is on a self-inflicted um, um, problem on we party, on we status as members of parliament. And also, but again, particularly, I want to say this. We saw this bill on Monday. It was presented to us for debate on Tuesday. We needed the input of people, not for just some of Olaona, no. Because we believe, say, it's a legal matter. You are waiting for so he said this now. He said the power should then give the president under this bill. And where is my candidate? He drew me attention for good day. And now I'm going to do extensive research on that day and other legislation around West Africa. What did he say? This is what we want from Sierra Leoneans. We are still appealing. We are begging. Instead of you saying the MPs are not sell out, bring out some points. Believe me, they buy them. I don't say this to you over and over again. Bring the points wrong. The way me they read a, sent a particular sentence, not that I don't go back to school or I'm the education or rich day, but the way me go read them and interpret them, it's different from how you read them. When you they explain to them, now that I begin to understand, say, okay, there is one process of registration. There is another process of harvesting the data. So our fear is you can register, but you cannot be harvested into the way itself. When I did the 13 kind side and I did the, the 24 kind side, I read that in tandem with the old um, bill, so uh, the old act is so clear that if we miss out from this point, who say the reason so, we are finished as a party. Come on, <laughs> what? The, the, I, I don't ask many people in this question. What can the SLP give me now? Where if APC win, I know we will get. What are the interest for sale? Who are they buy? We cannot poison our own food and give it to our children. We cannot. Good. And again, we don't say this over and again. Why some, some people, like we, we always want to talk to people then. We've left everything we are supposed to do and join politics to bring a change in Sierra Leone. Any issue we get to do with integrity to the public space, it affects the personality. We begin to say the look up to we. And one country as one of the generations we bring that change, we change ourselves once in. So for now, we sit down, we connive with a, a government. We deliberately, they kill with people and they imprison with people. Ah, I think that must be a situation of really, really. A blind man that is also, a, when, when Chris man blind, he to, when somebody, they say, oh, they sell out, it's, it's like we, we blind, they will know they see. We Chris back. We cannot do this. We cannot be deliberate on this. But again, I want big, going forward. So you, other Sierra Leoneans, them, so that is going to be my last one because I, I need to drive home now. As I say, <laughs> that's <it's a> pack. <laughs> that's good. We yes, one opportunity this, for this, this is how I this is how I take the program very serious. So you and every other Sierra Leonean, we get an issue with this bill where things say we need to do more. Again, I, I don't want um, um, um shy away from this fact that you say we why we not bring out the issue early. Okay, I received a bill on a Monday. Tuesday last week. From that time to now, in the bill one, we also we always can get legal opinions from legal scholars. We not only trust the MPs that will get when the lawyers they move, we also they ask for legal opinion. That one they know they can cheaply and on one day. We also they ask PO analysts like you, like other senior Sierra Leoneans already out of the country, for giving their own opinion. That one they for more as you said today. 
instead of you give, you talk to me now where you don't post now at the same. I say okay, I can still compare them, I count and I will tell people and follow we discuss them. That is what we do. We also they talk to key policy analysts away then and government. What what did cow this bill? What it originate this particular kind of bill? I also don't say repeatedly they say members of parliament don't originate bill except it's a private member bill. And even when a private member they originate in bill, it left to have let it share with other members of parliament. So dear, we they beg, our integrity is on the line. I am still young. I have a family to protect. I have a generation to come after me. I don't want to muddy my name. If there are issues you have that are genuine on, on issues around governance issues, believe you me, any time we post on corruption matters, I don't only read them, I raise them as well. And always they tell government, say, some of these issues, they they, they derail we rating that international community because for we where don't they follow international um, um, issues around the world, other countries they take their issue away, they raise very seriously. And for attempt for go after you say, no, wait, teacher, no, say so a lie, it also they affect we as Sierra Leoneans. And some of we, I think, maturity and age wise, no go allow it for go down that road. I rather go engage you privately and say, no, can we talk about this? I think I have another opinion. I think I, I, I think you need to understand me from this angle. I think that for me, that's the healthiness of our democracy. We are all in the crossroad. Our people are equally suffering. Any attempt, I, I must say this openly, this um, um, last one week, where when I, for me, it's a, it was a crusade on innocent parliamentarians. When you do, um, you they distract me. It's like you're sending soldiers to water with this 10 stone behind them back. Who's up for concentrate? We have a concentrate, but see what they can be. We we have a concentrate. Our common enemy in this fight is a bad legislation where they present to we. Who would they watch? And every step of the way, we need you guys. So for long, make palabra outuna is unwise. Me mama no cook one pap, then I go begin play with the beginning. They before don't they order the supper. Now me. So do you with a big, with a talk to now? Let we open the space for for platform. This is not about responding again. This is about a appealing because for any some things and they again last said this you know, this is not just um, 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 um governance issue this is also politics there are certain things where you the raise up you also the empower and embolden as people continue to do more wrong because they're not saying okay this will be their position so let's see how best to go counter them politically and most times when they do the analysis here and things on avocado they open for let people know now the time where SP the bulldoze with most of the laws there because you've given them the technicalities already, they said they're in short. Let's face these realities with you. So now they make we work sometimes, and they're very difficult. There are certain things in this bill now. When you, you, you did it, if I begin talk about it now, you begin talk about it. If I'm sorry, begin talk about it. When I'm sorry, begin talk. Me at the court. Let not even mention some of the the technicalities in it. Because as you do them, then they put their research and legal team together. How do we do this? How do we go against this? All of this, then are we end do ya with a big engagement with us is open my lines are open i don't remember say one day the way don't call me i don't get to call if i don't pick as soon as i come i pick up my phone and call you back for me that is what engagement should be with a big we are not perfect not because we are human but because we are not um, 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 um educated in all aspects of human life if they do is do go into my um, um laws this show i mean not to my next fact I depend on the Sierra Leone when I'm marine expert for drawing. We say, mm, this is what I see in Ayaso. We don't get them with many, many, many people. I remember all the time I built camp. We, we talk about them all over. People then come with their opinions. IT specialists, we come with other laws. Then, part of me say, you can work as a policeman, he, he, he arrest you, he starts you phone, and he find something there and charge you to court. They always say you can get one, policeman can get one warrant, they can go now more than eight, ten homes. All of them, and then we discuss them. I remember the other part where say, if they send something like a nude picture of a child below 18, then you download them. They download no more, even when you share. You download, you possess, you commit a crime. We begin to talk, say, okay, what about people that will get automatic download on their phone? They will commit a crime, they don't know. So we do this and say, not to only download it, you they download intentionally, you keep, you store intentionally, then you distribute them, then you commit a crime. So, but all of that, not only technicality, not only sense, so, the other Sierra Leoneans, them, 
we think say they can add to we own um, um, values. We think say they can add to we own job. They help us. And I know one, they, and, and they continue to emphasize and say, you have been a blessing to this nation and you've been a blessing to us as members of parliament. Do you have law not cross path and not a good for with democracy? We don't want to be right and you are wrong. We don't want to let you right, we wrong. We want to we go side by side and make sure so we bring out the issues and address them amicably for the betterment of Sierra Leoneans. This one we call the MPs are not allowed. Don't trust your MPs. Your MPs are this. Why are your MPs not this? I swear to God, if you don't descend for we one one. Honorable you can MPs, can you look at this area? I think there is something faulty here. So I don't Look know the with yourself together. No, and that is how we no, possibly we contribute. So we all work for make it easy. You are at the big sir. Now beg with the big. Our families, uh, our children, yeah. with integrity all day in which we they do so. Any attempt for discredit we or make we look dishonest also get tendency to go affect the kingdom. And we as fathers, we need to protect our the, the integrity of the kingdom to the, the in the full view of um, um, the, 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 the public. If we do wrong, come, bring them out. Say, una, 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 we don't do this. But in this bill, the bill is still before us. The bill is still before us. If we become distracted to defend let ourselves, let me, the bill pass with all the bad things that we inside. Now, me and you get to the way The okay. kind amount of cost that we don't get this weekend. The kind amount of text messages them. The kind amount of um, disrespectful messages that we don't get as MP. It's just enough for most MPs when a good debate has been if they're going up for debate they miss this, that most of them points here. Because we are intellectually paralyzed. We, we know they think well. <laughs> now, let's say this to I don't understand the people of final self. We know they think well. You they think you got my money, somebody just grab all the the the, the post that you they make so once you touch them, 10, 20, they send all to you. By the time you ignore that post, the other post they send 20 to you. Then you be here. What is your take on this? By the time they explain it and the other post they can. By the time they explain it and they and for we two, 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 we don't want to go that path. Do you have the big, we, no, the phone on the um, let me let me I just want say this. To, we want we want to thank you before your phone goes off for the courage where you get for come talk to the people and talk to we. And this is not this is not it's not it's not a war. It's not a war against MPs in the first place. Our job is to make the quality of democracy in our country make a much more qualitative. And part of the responsibility, as, as I say, in other parts of the world that we know about, or traditions, that responsible for MPs for come forward and tell we say, this is the legislation, this is what is going on. For at the pre-legislative conversation, from the day of the pre-legislative conversation, that is what MPs do in other parts of the world. And, but I want to assure you, our work has always been to promote and advance democracy and continue, and we recognize your role. You have know that. But regarding the question of sending uh, with thoughts and ideas, everything we write and put in the public domain is about how to help the government of Sierra Leone and the policymakers for advanced democracy. That's how you highlight. That's how you highlight what is going on, including we, we are not here to antagonize government. <laughs> we all write about corruption, that the Minister of Finance or the violation of procurement procedures. We want procedures and processes to work for the benefit of the country. When we highlight salaries and salary disparities, we want to make government address them. We are not basically... So when we call on MPs for make the document available to the country, we are not basically attacking or antagonizing MPs. We're basically calling on them and telling them, and this is thing I'll tell you privately and, and publicly, that all what citizens want is to tell MPs how they should be represented, how they should be represented, and all what what citizens are asking for is genuine and quality representation. That for many years now, MPs they tell citizens how they are representing citizens, and the scales have turned in the sense that now people have a technology and the opportunity for reach out and publicly tell MPs this is what and how you should represent us. In this case, our case has been made in the sense that we highlighted legislation and, and, and provisions that we think and believe they violate um, the participation of voters or citizens for participation in an election, which you have agreed. And all we needed from our MPs, our lawmakers, is to tell us that this particular legislation or provision in this law 
it's not it's not good as far as democratic participation is concerned. Like I say, it's the responsibility of parliamentarians to make laws. That we that we, we start off with that. But at the same time, we say parliamentarians cannot make laws that affect the rights and liberties and property of citizens, rights and, 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 and freedoms of citizens. And this is what we're pointing out. So the silence of MPs over if you've been on come out and say what you say so, <laughs> there was no point why somebody will say your silence means what 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 it meant. So I One think sense, say, yeah. going forward, going forward, I will advise that you people make the citizens make the job of people like me and other people easy by not just talking to me. If you ask me privately, Ma, submit to you what I think about something, I might be, but I have had experiences, Ma, I tell you, I have had experiences, Mr. Nolai Potoka, and I, and I think I told you this for public disclosure, I have, have MPs from across parties who don't ask me, say, what do you think about this legislation? Or what do you think about this thing we are debating? I have provided, to, and I have witnesses, to MPs information that what did they do to help the very uh, government for fix legislation in a way that is against the interests of the people? It has happened once and twice, and I'll tell you that privately. And there are people listening to me who know that this is the case. And there are MPs who have done that, who are listening to me, who know that's the case. So if an MP comes to me when I raise an issue publicly regarding a legislation that has a provision to violate people's rights, and tell me, say, send me your, your idea. I, I'm not opposed to sending my ideas to you privately because what I want is quality governance. In my, in my, uh, what I do is a sacrifice and a commitment to my country, and I want, I want it good. And I even told you, I have no business worrying about the situation in Sierra Leone. But I have a reason to worry about it because it's my country and my people. It's a place I, I call home. And maybe you don't talk about this personally if I get for repeat. And so my position individually as a Sierra Leonean is not to antagonize MPs or antagonize governments to suggest, because not many people get the opportunity for express their views as, as we have it. So the opportunity we get for you do that, we exercise them for help make democracy quality. But I've also given my ideas and my suggestion to some of your colleague MPs in your party and outside of your party who have decided, and one of it has to do with the timber legislation, the violation of the export levy by Leadway Trading Company. I, I get two MPs, senior MPs, who came to me asking me for ideas about the fact that the government has argued that they want to measure timber by, by container. I had to remind that MP that the parliament has already passed a weight and measurement act. Even if you dismiss the finance act in question, the, 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 the action we are talking about. So what did the MP do? He go make them then change the law from container, I say cubic meters. And never came back to us about this is how. So we are looking forward to a debate where this MP was going to raise that in the world of parliament. It never happened. And that has happened once, twice. So an MP yeah, cannot yeah. come to me when I see the risk of the country going into a crisis with a legislation that will affect voters and tell me, say, give me your ideas privately and I provide that. And I have a record of this. Uh, so I have a record of that for professional, for professional reasons, I will not say it, but I say unto the public, because, because I do not want to appear. Let me tell you, if uh, by the nature of the information that I sit on and I tell people who work with me, I work with a group of people, some of whom are non Sierra Leoneans. They do not even understand my country. But by the nature of the information that I have and that I know, there are particular things I do not publish. Why? Because I publish them. I tell you for free, people will come out of their houses and chase particular people and lynch them on the street. And I decide to do it. I do my work with care. And this is why you find out that everything I write is hardly any case where any government official will come and tell him, say, this is not fact. What they will do is to go silent. And I, and, I, and I still want to commend you as I've commended you privately and publicly and I even talk to you and say, we appreciate your courage and the fact that you can stand up in parliament and try to raise and insist that you are, the only, you are one of the only MPs who have even pronounced African Express in the world of parliament. Your parliamentary leaders, I say you are one of the few, one of the few who have, who have said that. Your parliamentary leaders even wrote a letter. They could not even have the courage of mentioning our press in, in their letter, official correspondence. But they, they credited BBC, Dr. Bella, and all other organizations. 
of our work. So that is the extent. And, and you do not expect those leaders who cannot mention, who do not have the courage to write, write our press, the work we do in a letter, to so come to me and ask me to contribute ideas and I give it to them because I know they, you know, they won't do anything with it. So what we want is what you have done. Come to the people and tell them exactly this law that, that is before us has provisions that we do not accept. That's all we need. We need the assurances. Now that we have you on record, we, are, we you don't talk, say, this lawyer, we not accept them because it don't make so. So fine. And the, the other thing, you are not speaking as an individual MP, you said. You are not just speaking as an individual MP. You are also speaking on behalf of the opposition MPs in parliament because you are the spokesperson. So now we have a, a member of parliament from the opposition who has assured us not to be worried about the national uh, identification number because it's a no-go area. We agree on that point. Now we have many other issues regarding the bill, which we are also going to raise in our publications, and we will continue this conversation. So I would like to tell everybody, and I have more thank you. You've been very courageous, MP, to even attend this conversation. And regardless of what the hammer and knock you hit, you still tilt up and, and also, which is what I, which is really what we want. We just want the quality of our democracy going forward. And do not blame us if we decide to raise the issue and the concerns publicly because we want the public to know because we've done it privately. It never produced a result. And when we do that, we are not antagonizing you. We are also careful with the image of the country. We are careful with the security of the country. We are careful with the welfare of the citizens. Otherwise, we will not do the job that we are doing. And I will assure you, the nature of the information that I have, by the time I publish anything that I publish about corruption about this, I do it with pain. That is not what I want to write about my country. Okay, I want to also go home and be able to write about just easy things. I don't, I want to have a situation where I cannot worry about Sierra Leone. And that is why I, we get for talk to MPs like you and other MPs to be able to, to secure the interests of ordinary Sierra Leoneans who will not be able to read who will not have access to this kind of opportunity that we have. So I think they will not be labeled because, so not, you don't need to have a big way. We're careful with, with my image and the image of the country as soon as we are, the way, same way we're concerned about us, concerned about our own welfare and our own families as well. So on that note, I think I know for also repeat for thank you and thank you, otherwise I'll be repeating myself. I don't know if, it, if we get our questions in the floor, maybe if you still get charging, there might be other questions that you might answer to people since this is an opportunity for people to talk to the MP. Okay, I think there's, there's here. I have one uh, question somebody, for him too. Huh? I wanted to know if the... Oh. Somebody right now, for Mark Adam, you add the question now. Somebody say parliamentarians do not make laws, they debate and pass laws. It is the AG's office that make laws. So, oh, okay. This is, I think Ibrahim was the one who, make, who is making that. I'm reading the comment. You got any question? If you can know the city. Yeah, I mean, there, there are quite a few questions. I thought I saw questions earlier. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. They're still there. Okay, so this one say is Marion Koso Thomas is asking. So citizens that are planning to register need to make arrangements to be there in September, October. How soon will citizens know that they can register or not, or not based on the NIN issue? That's not one. Mr. MP, this one, uh, Samuel Eric Thomas is asking, Mr. MP, what is your decision on the bill? Have you gone on radio stations to tell the public about this bill? I think you've already answered that, but if you want for the echo, you go ahead. Echo. Okay, this other one is saying, okay, this I think that we really kick it. But anyway, I want to also, we echo our appreciation to uh, Sarah Cast TV for giving us the opportunity to um, get this very important conversation. I think this has been very rewarding, the conversation. So I don't know if, if citizens, if other people are in the conversation, we go on for um, add them voices or get comments for make or get a question. I want to know quickly yeah. from the Honorable AKK, what he said sounded more personal as opposed to all opposition parliamentarians. Were you speaking on behalf of all of you guys or just you?
Yes, I don't unmute you. I did, I did, I did, I did not the questions them. Then I answer all. I don't know. Or you all answer this specific question. No, that's fine. I can wait. So answer, the, answer the all bundle because no other question not there. Because no, we don't have to hold your time back. Till your phone go off. You know, you will tell me what they tell me. Okay. <laughs> say do M M M. Is it Ibrahim? They say MPs don't make laws. Um, bills don't come from MPs. We receive bills in Parliament, except if they are private member bills. But if they are not private member bills, we receive them from the executive. Now, when, of course, if the, the, the issue of um, policies, after policies, then draft legislations, they send them to the Attorney General, then draft them, they send them to the Parliament. That is a normal procedure of lawmaking. And at a normal day, MPs will only see the legislation on the day when they count on our Parliament. In some cases, two days. Then we don't count on the parliament when I receive them before. In some other cases, when I receive them much more earlier. In this one, on Monday, we receive them. Somebody saying, they say the people away, they plan for carry self or prepare. I, I want to assure them, say, with or without the NIN number, the people will register and we go do everything within the powers as opposition to ensure, say, the, the fear around the NIN number is brought to zero. We will do that one day. And that one day, my like, commitment because the members of the first way they go for go register, now me, if they go vote for, now me stand for benefits out of your vote. If you're not get that person for opportunity for register, how do I get the person's vote? Not possible. Somebody is saying, um, how far don't go with the public education? We don't start the public education way back as Wednesday. And I will tell you, say, throughout this weekend till Tuesday, you will see more of public education. As just as I talk to you so now, um, one of my colleagues in our Western area, Natumak, the Honorable Alpha Bar, get the, they, they, they write down a radio station at Natumak and they educate people them on other sensitive issues around this bill. This will continue. We also will get other much more. The reason why we, they, we as we did, the, the process they delay in the parliament, we also the user. It is impossible for me for read a legislation just one day Today and make opinion and begin going on radio. Any attempt for mislead the people is worse than being uh, silent. So now that we get enough ideas around this bill, we can speak as members of parliament. But you know, except if now me be the part of the annual draft the bill, but another receive documents Monday, Tuesday, I begin debate time. If I will all begin debate on Wednesday, I think we try. Me, I will give myself kudos say we try to begin even discuss them by Wednesday because it is not easy. And we also I use this platform to thank people them we help we with ideas, we come out for speak. If you see on my Facebook, people wrote many things when I present this thing on Monday. We thank people them for that one day. It's also their role. We send an association and, 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 and groups them. People comment, they help me to we. We thank people them for that one day. They help me for shape with ideas. People ask questions in relation to um, 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 closing at the, at the bill. It helps people open up with ideas. So, um, um, finally, they say, if I am speaking as a person or I they speak as a group, I take responsibility as a person for all the I don't say, and as a member of parliament, we then give the opportunity, me and Honorable Abukagbo, for go and talk to people then, on this bill and for also get ideas from people and share them with members of parliament. I take responsibility for everything. I don't say this net as a person and as collectively as a group. We will not shy away from our laws. We will not shy away from our responsibility as members of parliament. I agree. Like what we say on Monday, like any other place where members of parliament are being informed. Members in some um, countries and they the SOEs. They make provisions say. Before a bill is taken to parliament, the members of parliament will not get at least one week or so before he can fill it. At that ample time, you go don't know what they, they can make a statement on the day of the count on fill, um, even for privilege. But hey, if I receive a document on the day of privilege and you expect me to make a press conference on that very day, then I must be a genius. Okay. And um, it's not it's not a one day, it's not a one paper. Might just add uh, another uh, question. Other oh, no, important question there. What you say go continue? May you got a fear say may you may you phone not go off. Send an open question. The, I will go. The system is say the system is not broken. This is not from Raymond. The system is not broken. Why fix it? What is the bill trying to solve? Or is the law only to create more problems and hurdles? This is outrageous. We are less okay. than twelve. 
we are less than 12 months to the general elections. Why can't they leave the electoral laws as they please? So the question is, what, what do you think, what's your opinion regarding you raise, the question of bringing a new law? Huh? You raised a, a, a particular issue today where I'm in need for address. You say the issue of um, 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 voter um, um, void votes. In the process of voting, many Sierra who don't vote, including yourself, that they ink you and force by the step of voting before they give the ballot paper. Members say the, uh, the inquiry will go put you and a raw ink. So if they give the paper, I didn't know you and even before you they vote, you don't, you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't spoil the vote because the same ink. Where then I and rob not the paper. In that, in those cases, you need a legislation, or else you know we'll change the process without a legislation. Read it; it is there. You also don't get new districts, new region. Where then make? And remember, I said we won the last election without a commissioner to the northwest. You know go do them because there is a region. You just come without an amendment. You do them. There are many reasons and other issues. Then the way they amend in this act will be really, really necessary. Now, I make us say, as we wild in the, 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 the discussion, I don't want to call it a debate. As we wild in the discussion, we go see some of the issues then. Yes, there are topical issues where we're very, very negative, like this um, 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 issue of uh, proportional representation, this issue of the NI number, the issue of the powers given to the president, all of them, and they were aggressive and wrong. But there are also other reasons. Legally, you cannot run a commissioner for the North, and they cover the Northwest. That's why we won the last elections. So all of those challenges, I think we the, 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 there are certain things we fundamentally get each problem. So we don't also get the situation where in, where you get over voting our centers. Now the political parties that they punish, that they cancel that box. Day. We are saying as an opposition um, party, no, they're not going to cancel no more the, the, the votes. The, 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 the next official way for the day, for at least go two years imprisonment. Or else, you will get one somebody where they come on and they, not, they go conduct the election at Kenima. We don't say a stronghold of the SFP, but because na na they are oppressive of a certain party, it will make them put 100 ballot paper extra and that entire center they will get 2,000, 3,000 votes. At the end of the day, they cancel the votes. When are the party they suffer and the person they go, they go and block up and down. No, we are saying no. In this new one of we own recommendations, you see, the way the bill come, we have not even put in we own um, 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 input as members of parliament of the opposition, which we want that this act, we are being subjected to defending ourselves. So <laughs> these are some of the things all they say. We get we own ideas for coming to this bill. You just talk about a fixed term for the presidency. If the election they conduct the, pres the presidency in May and, um, and November as they propose, when the annual will take place, when parliament go, go, go start, because the death of parliament is that also important in the presidential calendar. All of them things they need for the address. So we just get a bill. We we, we not begin discuss the bill. Okay. okay, one. So one other question. They are we not related? Sorry. We're two not people raise the hand too, Cheno. Watch that. Oh, okay, yeah, two people and raise their hand. Honorable, wait, ma, we'll take them. If you get if you phoned or you, you can still get time. I still I, I still go to the street or do this work. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to emphasize you work too much. You don't say they get salary. Most of we know they get salary for it. So we are paying you basically, although we're not for being inhuman to you. So <laughs> we <laughs> so it's a service that you are getting remuneration for, and, and especially that you don't call for additional welfare, uh, additional benefits. You, you know, you know why they not treat so they get cold and, and yes, but, and but, but, but don't forget the welfare bill when I when I be advocate for then they are called for say you get me preferential medical treatment. We well, well, they're not they're not give, they're not give you know, it. Anyway, they, anyway, we can go to condemn, um, other people and condemn. We'll get to the for this. I'll go, also. I'll go to Mohammed Samba Kamara. Mohammed, no, Ali Uba first. Oh, Ali Uba. Okay. I don't see that. Ali, U, <laughs> I don't unmute you. Uh, good evening, African Express and Co from London now. Eh? Una thank you for bring up this discussion at the now the platform owner the control. Um thank you very much Mr. Honorable for the brief explanation we don't give to we. Um <clears throat> I don't know if this other bill where then they talk about um the PR system proportional representation if we be able for touch that side, if not, 
Um, I just want to ask, what is the importance of that to be country, especially when we know, say, we country, um, more or less, we are there at liberty now, there is peace and tranquility. We are in election processing will take place in every corner of the country peacefully, if at all we desire, we will not go fetch ourselves. Or is this PR system now for just favor at the House of Parliament? Thank you very much. That, that is a very good question. Um, Honorable, you did it right. You don't have any question. I forget the other question. Once in general. Okay, Margaret, the question. Mohammed, Mohammed Samba Kamara. Mohammed. Yes. Yes. Hello. Sorry for keeping you waiting because you don't almost. Well, that. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, first of all, I'm for telling all plenty, thank you, and when I organize everything. Yeah. Um, the question I ask, are they ask like, um, why now now like, um. Parliament or the government they decide like for cow with this like we be to say some of them thing now for them to discuss them um, long term than mm -hmm. a one then two in terms of access to information you know um why the document them not be available for a long time so people then go down go through some of them documents there and 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 so if we can debate or discuss some of them thing there it's very easy now because we don't get with the entire the pinpoint you know. So, and I also ask the honorable, if not Ian Abdul, Kagbo no more, now the only people them, you know, like where they try for popularize the, the, the or they do the, the, the kind of advocacy, like for popularize. The, I know they get uh, to that. Honorable, they get we. Hello? Honorable, we did it. Honorable, we did it. Hello. He's on mute. Okay. Okay. Continue for ask the question. Maybe by the time they don't, they don't come. I don't know if you. Yes. Don't. So, because if we for make this PRB a kind of um, um, national cake, it for be circulated, you know, from that kind of general perspective. So we, I want to know directly. Um, beside in. Uh, the other parliamentarian we saw. Other than the other parliamentarian, we also they popularize this um, document to their own to their own constituent, uh, constituent, you know, and um, 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 and the areas them because it's very very important for let the, the, the citizen then get access to this information and also then will understand them and also try for interpret in their own way so that they will participate well. Okay. I think it, okay, honorable. Honorable, you hear, you hear the question? Yeah, I, yes, I hear the first person when they talk about PR system. Yeah, the second one is the, if now you and honorable uh, Kagbo, now I no more get the responsibility for go about popularizing the bill. Why is it just the two of you, or more especially you, that has been here and there, here and there, uh, like uh, Pai Rujara? All right. Uh, um, 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 you know, when you take this, de uh, this debate to the people nationwide, no, my, you know, no, if, you take, if you don't mind, if you take Bangura, other, other one, so you can, right, go ahead. Yeah, I see CP Bangura, <coughs> yeah, Bangura, Mr. Bangura, you did it. You don't see, yes, thank you, that's Ubu Bangura, former honorable of parliament. I want to ask my younger brother, because me don't talk to Boku members of parliament. And I know I, I know how parliaments they behave sometimes. Where some children go put a motion, then go vote them openly. Is it possible in parliament? Is it possible? Is it possible in parliament for you parliamentarians to secure? A secret ballot that they will call we the parliamentarians one by one? That's my question. Thank you. Clearly, clearly. Okay. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I want to 
Yeah, so go ahead now. That, those are the questions for now. Um, I, I wish I wish me me me, me senior and me for um help me in this situation because I know he knows what the um, the standing orders say. I get the standing order right before me. If it be don't refer it to 44, right down to 46. We talk about division and every other thing. In no way, in the law say, and the law say when I call a member of parliament, it is Tima. So it left to the, the, the prerogative of the speaker. He knows what the law says. You know, if a good old they come out here, let we learn from we seniors them. Let them teach you what the law says, because in that situation here, it is clear. You know, when you go 40, uh, 46, if you call for division, where you are not satisfied, if you go 42 and uh, 46, 1, 46, 2, it say a member, when a, 46, 2, it say when a member's name is called by the clerk at a division, the member shall answer either by voting for A or nay, or by expressing, expressly standing. I not saying this way talk about secret ballot. He, he, he know that the nothing for the six to say. Um, somebody here talk about also. This is the risk of having a uh, <laughs> waiting. Waiting the law say everything really really good for democracy. But the drafters of these standing orders, I think we 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 are on a process now for review these standing orders. They give excesses and unwarranted powers. To the speaker, I think me, me senior landed colleague, me senior member of par parliament, and I don't use the word landed. Sorry, the lawyers did for don't tell we this again. Somebody say, if they ask why now me no more they go out, why now me Abu Kabo no more say a risky this period one year to election. Members now six months left for make any laws we get for do it um, um, elections according to the the um, ECOWAS protocol. Where the government as a nation after six months, six months was election, they do um, 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 laws. So, therefore, many people, many, many people, um, if you allow your MPs and for the for the go, they're not the attend parliament, it's a major risk. It's a major risk on the party. So, we're not going to continue for allow that day for make clear we MPs and the travel every day for going at different, different years. But now that we're not going to say Tuesday, you find out, say, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, only Thursday will not be get issued last, um, um, parliament last week. Friday, you'll be get, um, um, sitting. So, throughout the week, it has been an, a very busy day for parliamentarians. So, you know what allow for get all members of parliament for going at the provinces which I will come out of, um, and get community engagement within this period. So, I think for me, I even the tell um, with leadership in the parliament, thank you that then be able to get time for release me, Sir Charles and um, Honorable Ty and Titles, for engage the people in the provinces on this bill. So uh, it is not just us. I tell you, say, from now we'll get a very long vacation when I almost, um, from now to Tuesday, you will see me, with, where we don't get more education, more recommendations from um, 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 other people. Then. We, we, we education on the bill don't be emboldened. We don't get more ideas. You will see more community meetings. And you go see we have some community where we know to MP they say for go day and for ensure say we bring out the position. Not, not forget say we are not only working as a political party and individual MPs, we are also working under the consumption of political progressive political parties. So we go move as cop for go and then, and then communities and they for all their meetings and they with we colleague members of parliament. Somebody they also say, okay, I think why we and then two questions there, I remember yeah. Proportional Why representation. Not? Somebody want for proportional representation. But well, although we um, although we have discussed that, but we just give you the opportunity. I, 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 I will gladly, I will gladly for share with Sierraleans all over the world. Maybe by tomorrow morning, the response where I get na Kailau, the response where I get na Kono, the response where I get na Kenima, the direct messages. Am I one of me the, the chair lady for si for si na, na Kono? He called me privately. Say, honorable oh, member, last send you to me. So you call it going to be MP. Say if he votes for that PI, they let no care. I the money us before he face. This is a woman. <laughs> this is a woman, and he mean her seriously. And I, I think I send you the videos of the people in a corner 
when we meet with one on one, when they vent out the anger, with Timatna Matutoka, we talk to the people them. When they send a strong message to the MP them, with Timatna Mashimbi, with Kana Magorka, we cannot um, mark any. The people are resolved against the PR system. And let me say this. I don't hear any people that say, hey, the MP, they want PR system because they want to protect themselves. One, any MP where supports a PR system is a failure. In me, he has not represented these people. And even people here, he, he talk down themselves, say, we want PR. When we succeed, not for going to PR, let them people and they not vote for them. Because that's pure wickedness. You they pull power from the people where give you power. If you don't fail in this for you, go beg them. Go and have community meeting and beg them. Go explain why you failed them. But because your own personal interest, you don't fail the people left. You want to use, par for, use parliament and the law for I through PR. That's a non-starter. We don't go support that day. We don't go support them. Okay. They don't tell you many things. They say, oh, you go reduce violence. I have said this, and I'll say it again on this platform. If electoral violence that they're using for PR, it means say we need to disband the police. They are not effective. Because if you get effective policing in a country, how can you tell me the police cannot man a simple by election? When that is the, the, the assurance they will man a whole nation's election? It's uncalled for. If you yeah. say it is expensive, you're only talking about 132 MPs. You say for one by election where MP die, where the, the, the appoint time, he expensive. What about running by election for 460 something councillors, which is more expensive? You say it, it will reduce court matters. We know that the type of escape out of what they don't do for remove we MP them and then get the things that will kind of power. We will also remove the MPs. We have better national issues to address. Okay. And we make I, make I take one question for you back. Sorry. We can just take one more one more question. Uh, Mr. Kuruma, go on. Andre Bupe, wait. More questions they come for you. Today, today you get a new parliament. Yes. Thank you. Hmm. I've been to I've been get a couple of uh, um, points, but one question. The person you will say. Now, parliament, they make law. That's their constitutional responsibility. Yeah. The NIM number is as dangerous, it's as dangerous as saying your inability disqualifies you. That's how dangerous it is. So, for example, if you're sick, you travel, you're able for do it within time, you are automatically disqualified. That's what it means. But there is one thing else that the members of parliament may not be aware of. Which is, as I speak, if you not get NIN number, you need to get bad certificate. I don't know whether he knows that. Yes. We don't tell him. We don't tell him that just now. We don't. Know as I the talk, five, if you not get NIN you know, number, you, you can't even get a driving license. Yeah. So that's how. And and I know people who have been waiting on the on the queue for over six months. They never get driving license. That's how dangerous it is. So it, in other words, if you, if you add election to run, the commissioner gets right for hold on to you because it's discretionary power. It gets right for hold on to you for the for, ten election pass, you know, you're not qualified. And you know get you know get nothing for one because the law allow them. So you have to look at that. But what I want for make you you note, Mr. 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 Uh, the MP. And I know the MP no say this particular legislation, draft legislation, it automatically disqualify members uh, from, from the diaspora from, from voting. Are you aware? Now, why do I say that? The requirement of residency under this act, it means say the, uh, the this draft legislation say you for don't then at the, the place they not. Not, the, not more than six months. If for be resident at the place you say for register, not for make you qualify for votes. For make you qualify for votes, you know for don't left day for more than six months. I don't know if they know that only. Look at the draft and look at the interpretation of residency requirements under the first schedule of this draft. It is as dangerous. This is deliberately 
I mean, stopping people from voting. So who are the Komodo diaspora? We are automatically out of the question. That's how dangerous it is. So my me, me point, me point is this. Don't allow these people to pass this legislation. Don't partake. You have to do hey. everything hey. and anything that you can hey. do. No. No, no, let's just finish. Uh -huh. Let's just finish. And then they tell you now, for go burn the parliament. As members of parliament, you have several things to do. Me, the God at all, for go register. My phone? It is my absolute right as a citizen. I get forget the right as a citizen protected by the constitution for take part in the election. Oh, no. oh, yeah, they you know, say I feel say yeah. members of parliament, the leadership of parliament, me don't call on una earlier. Say when I get for do anything on able for do for make sure say this particular law, I did so no, no pasa. Okay. You have to amend it, you have to protect people's right to vote. You have a responsibility to protect democracy. Now vote them, vote for our own agudi. Any legislation where they prevent people from taking part in free fair elections, it is not something that parliament should support. La ND, because other people they want to take part. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to diaspora voting on this matter, but we'll just suspend that one day as I said, tabula for the next segment of we conversation. Otherwise, we'll spend all, we don't realize, say, we, we had earlier planned to just spend two hours, uh, but now we don't go beyond the regulated time. So we want to thank you, uh, Honorable AKK, except if you get small few words, but I think, say, uh, it's about one for- Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Oh, wait, maybe we see Usman Conte has not seen the word. We'll just allow him to say before we go. Yes, unmute yourself. All right. Good afternoon, um, Mr. Ba. And uh, good afternoon, my brother, Mr. Masali. Long time I know see you, bro. I want to do. And also good afternoon, Honorable. And we thank you very much for the pathway they play in the uh, <laughs> Parliament of Sierra Leone. Uh, but I believe, say, one thing where somebody just mentioned where are they see where they say he say uh, I think uh, the, the, the the lawyer who is in here with us he mentioned something when he say when I know for give them any chance by all possible ways and means I see the shake head say no 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 you know I pick up something right there uh, I believe say when I don't they give SLPP government the time for the bulldozer and the parliament when I they agree. You know, now me and Una, now we'll be contest the last election. But unfortunately, they didn't take you off because of the choosing. If I was there, trust me, as I believe I know the rules and I believe I have immunity while I'm in parliament, I would definitely play me own right as a parliamentarian. But I don't give a lot of latitude to uh, SLPP for the bulldoze Una and do whatever they feel like doing. I don't think she don't ever stand now one great thing I stand for where I see uh now been too many owner resist against the census more than just then go back and later then do it forcefully. You know, you know, I don't know what he, we as members of the opposition, what you will get for say we see they always they oppose some of una, some of the parliamentarians. That's the reason. Now, I believe say una, for understand the distinction between the NACRA, NCRA, and the Electoral Commission laws in the country. I believe, say, the Electoral Commission is the only institution that is responsible for election activities in the country. Why NACRA for involved? Why would I not able to give this distinction to, the, to, the, to whoever made that legislation, would they bring that parliament, making them understand, say, from days when we were born in Australia, I know when they register from nobody but electoral commission and they register us for low go vote. Why now Nankai they come and try to encroach the work of the electoral commission? Why? Okay. In, 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 before on our own eyes. Why? AKK. All right. Um, did you get me now? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, let us just respond quick. You ask the question, say, we, we, except for the census we see, 
we don't ever stand for anything. Well, I want to thank you very much. Maybe now, wait till you see and then they go viral, we, you see. But before that, I want to tell you, say, the first ever challenge will get snapped into money again after the speaker in fact, and the issue of the passport price with them will increase rapidly and cut off the, 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 the contractor and bring in a new contractor. We still have the records. Um, they again can be almost a physical fist fight. We make them stop them. The issue of the ombudsman, where they carry it, where we also be rejects, where we make them withdraw them, and be also a physical fist fight. The issue of the ACC boss, where they approve, where you they call them um, bulldozing, was almost a physical fist fight. We also talk about the issue of NACRA. Oh my God. Hello. Did you get me, sir? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah. The issue of, uh, of NACRA involvement into the, um, the, 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 the body politics of Sierra Leone in terms of registration also was a physical fist fight from Committee Room 1 to the well of Parliament. Again, I appreciate, you know, we all have different skills. If you have been a member of Parliament, maybe you get another way for doing one. But I think, mm -hmm. say, in we own little way, we don't do what we able to do. And not forget, say, even when they pull the MPs in a power, we didn't pull in a parliament. We took a public protest. We don't walk off the president. We don't ever happen in Sierra Leone. I think, um, I know why they're quite telling all this edition. Now they pay for this work, therefore, no one take glory for some of them here. Now we walk up from um, party office and um, from um, 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 from parliament to party office, and now we then fire tear gas and bullet or bullet them but directly when they attack the APC office. I think that part of the story nobody know ever tell them. Then just say, hey, um, the policeman then just go and go attack the APC office. Now we then first fire at as members of parliament. I remember okay. we going to ACC. When we going to ACC on the case of Samuel Akama, the motorcar when me and Cherry Koko I was right behind. Cherry Koko right behind me. I mean Sidom right before when they fired the triggers right inside the motorcar for I think nobody know the narrative that one day. When members of parliament like Mohamed Bangua they almost kill an host, people don't narrate that story. Where Peter Yamba then kidnapped him, Motokan and Makeni, the prisoner and Indians are in Dadi. Nobody is interested in that story. When then then beat um, and humiliate um, Dr. Umpa Sori and um, MG Koroma from by election, nobody is interested in that. When Laya Maya was locked up at CID for only saying the way President Biodi rules, so if we continue, if people like they can't get another Rwanda, um, the people in Sierra Leone did not say anything about that. When Abukago was arrested, well, let me come, I beg. I no, I agree, I agree with you. You have your say in this. No, no, but hold on, hold on. Tell no, story. Wait, pause. Wait. I mean, it, we no, story today. We get, <laughs> no, wait, 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 Sacrifices where ordinary people don't make in defense. No, 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 of, no, 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 no. Adika, no, Adika, no, Adika, no Adika, hold on. Adika. Not an argument. I just want to. No, no, no. That is. No, no, no. No. Let me let me just say, when when you put what you did, individual MPs, everybody in Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone is going through the pain and suffering of uh, the Bio regime. Up to I now, said, up to up to now, there are over a hundred. Sierra Leoneans who were involved in the protest in Tumbu, eh? in the protest in, in Lonsa, in the protest in Makeni, in the protest yes, in 110, my line two, and all across the country who are in jail, who no. have been forgotten about. Let me okay, say that. Okay. So, no, they have not been forgotten about. Well, I will well, also well, 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 so, so when you say, when we you need, say, when you say, no, we need to forget the conversation, we need to forget conversation around the issues and the, okay. again, um, Every when conversation. No, honorable, I just want for under, I want for underline. Say you suffering, no, you suffering I, from this, the, the no, assault. No, no, I know the, I know the, assault I know the, of this. This case is really out, I like. I know, bring out, I know me, they bring out the sufferings. I know they bring out the sufferings of the MP. If I will not deserve for even exactly. calling, so, um, I will appreciate. So I will appreciate. I will appreciate if you just respond to the question. Then. That talking about the suffering when they undergo because no, no, I don't that. talk about the suffering. Wait, if you use other platform for that, I will not. I will not want to. I will not want to. Um, because for me, I think the suffering of ordinary people is more important. Is much supersede the privilege position of politicians, regardless of whether okay. they are in opposition or not. I, 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 so, I don't want so to please, comment on that. Now, bigger the bigger. No, no allow, no allow we forget, no allow we forget uh, another disagreement. In after a beautiful conversation, <laughs> we don't appreciate you.
Because the moment you begin <laughs> amplify, okay, amplify okay, okay. those individuals. No, I don't the amplify them. I don't amplify them. Basically, 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 on the right, um, some of these concerns. So please, we, I, I, appreciate you, I appreciate your response regarding the effort that they make. But on a general scale, the suffering of the ordinary people cannot be accounted for. Whichever way the MPs suffer, they are at least some of we, they among the 1% of the population that will not experience suffering of ordinary people anymore. Please. I, 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 I plead that I plead with you. Save okay. that, save that wait, story wait, on the other side. Wait, no, I don't, I don't, not, not to like, <laughs> if you allow me for land, I was going to land on the position of not praising or making the situation so, worse. And, and, and each of each Sierra Leone, if, I, if me remember, have highlighted every abuse that has happened to individual politicians. No, 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 no. We all story quiet, a, a quiet. Cannot, me you may, no, wait, la, 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 I, I want to make this thing. Okay. And I also don't tell you, say, I am not doing it to, to show we have <laughs> suffered. Well, well, carry on. I, 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 I have personally, I have personally suffered reminded. an attack of which my entire family probably don't wipe out a time like this. But that's the, that's the price I pay to serve my people. And I know they quiet me in any way. Yeah. But somebody talk about um, 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 the, the, the diaspora as the way they come and the six months. I think you technically answer that question, but I know so you, you sell up for another day. Yeah, about about the, we'll continue this conversation. We'll bring you yes. back. You say, you say the diaspora are voting where this bill take the way this bill they talk about. I think when we reach that point, they if you they say we've already started and they're out of the diaspora, if we agree. Or we get a disagreement on that, and we decide to say they come home because they are Sierra Leoneans. We're not there in Sierra Leone, we're not resident in Sierra Leone. I think as lawmakers, we go make a provision, we go cover them. I have known Ibrahim Sohi for a very long time, not to possibly they express emotions. The way he express emotions over this issue of NIN, I want to say we we'll read and overread it again, and we go gladly forget any own input. But I want to say we will not shoot ourselves in the chest, not even in the leg, in the chest. And allow the SRP to walk away with this NIN number. Please, please, we we we, we take note of them and we go treat them with all kinds of seriousness we deserve. Um Mr. Conte, you got a team for add the, in response to oh, the MP in response, or are you satisfied? Uh, well, 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 you know, you know, you know, even answer me question, me, me, me last Which question. Like question? Yeah. The you last question you. was the last question was um okay, Ari, I say. Why would I not be able to articulate distinction between the Electoral Commission and the NACRA? Because I believe, say, I believe, say, why would I not bring this to Parliament? May they understand the differences between NACRA and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Electoral Commission? Because the Electoral Commission is solely responsible for, lecture, for election activities. That's what I believe in. So I believe, say, then they act, they want to act on two ways, taking uh, 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 the data of the election, uh, the electoral commission, while they don't get the right for them. So, I, I mean, if you didn't have a bill, why would I not they try to tell them, say, this is wrong and this is not right? Because All right. the electoral commission is only responsible for, ele for, the, for electoral purposes. Why NACRA? That was the question. Why, it's, it's, why would I not able to bring that, this? That, and, that, and then get it. That, yes, that, I yes, think sir. we don't ask that question before you come long before now, and I don't know it. Also, I don't come with this NACRA issue on okay. the with situation of voting, voter registration. Not forget, say, in fact, by waiting, the arrangement that we make, the, the marriage we make between NACRA and NEC, there was not going to be any uh, um, voter registration. NEC, we just need for harvest from um, NACRA and add to their own system. They write you that letter. I think I will find a way for me to see that letter. And we Please. respond to them. And we had a debate on that in the parliament until we pull NACA and off the process of um, um, registration. By the now, way, wait till, uh, that, that wait till we see they come back. <laughs> now, wait till we don't oppose. Say, no, we know they allow the NACA give you a database. Now, what they do now, they use an NIN number or something for come back into the process. And if we don't lock the main gate, not so the backyard will go open. If we pause in putting head inside the block, we we'll go up out stick. That's if man and net. 
So, but you get for take with time. Let we understand we say. Let we know say we're doing this not so for we serve, but any mistake we we'll do in the electoral laws here, either as citizens or as members of parliament, it will affect me for a very, very, very long time. And that very is good. why we they say, let me still the same in a parliament, we still need time. We still need time for get national engagement. Interestingly, we don't they get positive contribution from Sierra Leoneans across the world with many, many serious issues over the days around this bill. As members of parliament, as lawmakers, we appreciate them. I think the opinion where members of parliament, even on, in the ruling side, we get uh, on Monday, Tuesday, and the national debate where they go around now, the national debate will don't, will don't acting on this um, is, issue. So man, even in your voters, they say, don't begin calling now. I remember I go parliament, some few of my colleagues away come up, Kenny Ma, and, and Kyle and say, you know, you, go, you say you don't understand the bill in the parliament for the better, but you understand that we're going to get and deal with people in Akaila. You're not a bad MP. Meaning we don't begin to create the, 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 the pressure behind them from their own people. I think we know the tap yourself for that. It is our responsibility. But we are saying we are asking for this time for law we make a better law. And we are committed as members of parliament for get a better, better, Better law. We go protect we. Don't forget, Mr. Conte, M M M M Cherno, that this law will they make. Now, in the, imagine they talk about PR system. We don't even know it's not the threshold. How much percentage we go get a Cambia or Bo or Makeni for let get one seat. Now, after I don't vote done, you know, then you find out to the twelve schedule for determine how they go calculate. I mean, I mean they go left me 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 fish na pussy hand. It is uncalled for. All right. we, 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 appreciate, we appreciate your continuous assurances that uh, we're not going to make a bad law. Uh, we will affect the democracy of the country and also get the, uh, uh, affect the rights of citizens for participating in the democratic process. Yeah. We, we insist and, and, and we, we voices around this issue, therefore do with the fact that we, want, we don't want a law we will affect citizens and rights. I think, say, that, 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 is, that is the only thing we, were, we, we are basically insisting on. So right. once we don't get you on record in saying that, that we are not, we are not going to encourage or participate in the process we could destroy with democracy and undermine people's ability to participate in the democratic process, we, we get something to hold on to. And we all, we all agree <clears throat> on that question. Until today, this is what we, you know, we, we never get this kind of commitment. At least me not get a, as an official position coming from you and the fact that you, are, you say you talk for you, a collective group of MPs um, from the opposition. So I, know, I think so we don't exhaust this kind of conversation on the NIM. Yeah. <clears throat> if, I don't know if I could pass a over now to the moderator. I, know I don't see the moderating responsibility, but it's moderator, but... We just want to tell people, let me again remind them that um, Syracast has been wonderful and we'll continue to collaborate with them as we build this ongoing open discussion series. And we will continue this kind of conversations moving forward. Mm -hmm. So people could begin to understand we work um, as the African discuss some of the issues that we cover and get, get in. You know so I don't know, Mr. Masali, I don't pass a move to you. I think say we don't go. And, and kudos to Syracast for this um, opportunity and also thanking everybody on this uh, platform. We don't participate in this open conversation. We will get many of these kind of conversations moving forward. Uh, as I say, we, you, they, we try to build the process where you will not have to have data like, M like the MP now go get the urge for say, a, 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 I mean, connect internet. You will just dial a toll free number from wherever you are and you can participate in this, this kind of conversation and, and listen and, and take part. So that is what we are working on, and we hope to so overcome this that kind of technology and limitation before the election. So, because it's necessary more to get this kind of conversations moving forward. Yes, yes. So we thank everybody, Mr. Masali. Over to you, and thank you for offering your time and the sacrifices we make on uh, promoting the work of the African Express. Uh, we see you all over the social media space, and uh, you've been very dedicated. Uh, at the end of all this, I think so. We're going to give you a special badge of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank These you. These are our civic duties, as you know. Yeah? Um, so, but just information purposes, I put the also the act them 
uh, well, the act and the bill, current bill uh, for public elections, uh, the charts. So if you're not seeing it, and you know, I can get some quickly before we wrap up. And then okay. secondly, as Chen will be mentioned earlier, then get um, the African Express website. So you can check that out also uh, in terms of getting your hands on the document. Okay. But finally, so make, I make, one, make I make one announcement. Sorry, my all right. honorable, the honorable before they go. May I just uh, tell Honorable Abdul Karim, uh, Honorable AKK say, in the last night, our attention as the African Express was drawn to a supposed Facebook comment. Uh, made by uh, the Honorable, I think it's, you remind me that uh, Molai Lahai Mara. Lahai so, Mara. And uh, I, as a press, I, I, as a press organization, we will, we will contact the party, the Honorable, and the leadership of Parliament regarding that particular uh, comment, challenging the um, validity of the publications on corruption that we've published on Sierra Leone that has been cited by multiple international organizations. So we want to know which part of the publication the MP, um, as he put, get issue with, because we are ready to, to take it on. And if not that, and we will write, <laughs> we will write on our, on our, on our, I want to take this opportunity for announcement to people again with the listening know. We will write officially to the leadership of the opposition in parliament on that question. You don't get to respond. I just inform you about what action that we're going to take, um, that we're going to write officially and also invite are you, the are you giving opportunity for respond on that matter um, um, ref, uh, resp um right officially because we need an official clarification from the MP regarding with publications with aspect of publication wrong and uh, um and show the evidence regarding with publication okay. we've, we've published on the can, hello. from march one to now but we have a publication we never get that kind of uh, response so we want for so, we are taking it seriously did you get me Yes, I did get when mm -hmm. when we receive when we receive the letter. Don't lose you back. You're moving now, yeah. Okay, so when we receive um, as a part of official um and um, we think of having an official statement on that one day. But now that you don't tell me, say, on a day, right, we officially as a party and the parliament, I think that will be, um, <laughs> we, we are losing you, sir. We can't get you because you're moving, right? You're on the road now. You and Chernobyl will talk on uh, uh, that corner now. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we, we must move on. Yes, carry on. Again, Mr. Just one for echo. Uh, uh, thanking everyone, Sierra Cast, your very self, Cherno. You've been a very courageous Sierra Leonean. I refer no. to you as a super Sierra Leonean. Yes. Not too many of those guys are on my list. And um, I'll continue for do what we do. So we'll have many more opportunities to have these discussions. In fact, I think we should do them weekly, not bi-weekly or monthly, you know, every week, because there's so many things to talk about in terms of uh, redeeming our nation, or at least keeping it, keep keeping things at par, fair and equal. For me, I can always say, um, this election, uh, let, let, let rigging all day, would that win, win, I mean, slogan, would that win, win, 2023, no rigging, would that win, win. So we hope, say, Danny go, uh, you know, Illustrate self illustrate itself as we go through the entire process, elections process. One year, you don't ring the bell. Yes. So, on that note, sir, thank you everyone for participating here with us, and we will see you shortly. And we also thank you, thank Mr. Masale, and thank you, Cherno. Cherno, you are a blessing for Sierra Leone. And, and God, we thank, to we bless you, man. We thank him also on the technical side of things. Uh, we nobody will make this possible without the technical support. So we salute um, Hamza, Sierra Cast. Sierra Cast team for this wonderful opportunity. We look forward Big to up, more, Cast. For more mm -hmm. beautiful work together as we as we move along. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right.